Hello everyone, welcome to another stream. I think everything should be going just perfect. Music may be a little low. That's fine. Uh, oh, too loud. Okay. Uh, go ahead. The Gen 4 games, a little bit too long for my liking. We're talking about that. Uh, so anybody watching the VOD after, always, as always, go to the comments. Pin comment, you can skip around to runs. Today's going to be a two-run kind of day, I think. Um, cause it's a good run. It's one of the last redos that we have to do. That's an actual good run. I got pretty high hopes for it. I messed around with this route. I had about two or three variations of it. And I think I kind of finally landed on something that could be potentially really good. Might be a top six, top five run right now, as far as we're going on the tier list. Uh, so I'm excited to do it. I also have a new ROM that I'm building, a new base ROM for Pokemon Red. So let's cut over. We'll talk about it real quick. Uh, we're using Pokemon Yellow Colors. So we got the Pokemon Yellow Color Palette. And if you guys have ever heard of the Space World demo that was kind of like post-Gen 1, pre-Gen 2, where they had a demo out uh, that had a lot of the Gen 2 beta Pokemon in it. There's going to be a lot of sprites, or not a lot right now, I'm working on it slowly, but there's going to be some beta sprites in here from Pokemon Red, uh, that Space World demo, so it's pretty cool. Uh, okay. I'm trying to get the music levels right. Everybody doing good. We're going to have a lower viewership just because, I don't know, I guess Scott randomly decided to do a premiere at the same time I stream every week for the last year. That's fine. What can you really do? Um, I think we're about ready to jump in, but yeah, new, new base ROM. So this is going to be a two run kind of day. And I think that usually my second run's better, but I am going to have to pause a little bit. I'm going to have to look over my notes and stuff because there's some pretty specific stuff. I practiced this a couple of times last week and I kept forgetting there's a certain time you want to use your rare candies and all that kind of stuff. So if everything sounds good, nobody has any complaints. I do think it's about that time to uh, pretty much dive into it. I mean, Cloyster doesn't look good on paper. Hey, I appreciate the support, brother. I don't think it was like an intentional or anything like that, but you know. Uh, we're just going to dive into it, and we're just, the first run, we're going to see. I, I have practiced the run, so who knows, the first run could be perfect. But I doubt it. What's up, man? So if you have any questions, you can usually, you can see that was a new Cloister Sprite right there. This is Space World Sprites. I don't have them all implemented. I tried to, but like, the color palettes are messed up, and I have to do a bunch of extra work. So the key to this run is clamp and on paper clamp looks kind of bad but the reality is that clamp is one of the strongest moves in the entire game it's kind of crazy what holds it back is the 70 percent accuracy but it does 35 base damage and it can hit up to five times it's like stronger than hyper beam uh with effective power god 52 times five whoo it's a hard hitting move so there's some ranges since Cloyster doesn't have the best stats outside of defense. Uh, it's the only way you can one shot some stuff. So I think the early game's gonna be a little, a little dicey. And there's gonna be some parts in the mid game even where we have to rely on clamp to get the ranges that we would like. So if it misses a lot, you can have a potentially worse run, but I just, I felt like it was what we had to do. Outside of that, there's not really much trouble spots for Cloyster. There's a couple of slow fights, and I really, I tried all the ways I could to speed them up, but at the end of the day, I just, you know, roll with the punches, just take the RNG and just see if you can make it through it. I'm excited to see, because we kind of had like an impromptu uh, randomizer stream yesterday, so I wasn't sure how many people knew, but it looks like the viewership's a little bit lower today. It's fine. So if you get a three hit clamp right there, you can one shot these things. See, we didn't get a um, three hit clamp there. So it makes it a little bit faster, but there's a lot of RNG with it. Not only do you have to hit, 
you have to not hit twice. So we're just skipping everything. This is gonna be the minimum path. I am gonna buy some potions. I'll cut that down if I have to. I'm hoping a double, I don't, it doesn't look like a double Aurora Ream is going to knock out there and that's very unfortunate actually. Okay, no healing. I'm not even going to save it since this is the first run, we'll see. I'll make a little save state, we'll just mess around with it and see. Uh, clamp here is what you want, but I missed. You seen that I missed and that's not great. I've already missed a couple of clamps, missed a couple of ranges. We'll see if we can turn that around. It's just, it is what it is. Like, there's nothing you can do about it, but clamp's really strong. You can go for a more consistent route, but I decided not to. Uh, we do have master balls on the stream because it makes everything quicker, if you're wondering. I've said it in the last couple of streams, but I guess it always bears repeating. I think this is the last part of the early game uh, where clamps a little bit useful because you can get all these Pokemon down. I say one hit, but it really helps like managing PP and stuff like that because I don't want to heal until I make it to the Mount Moon uh, Poke Center. So now that we're level 10, Aurora Beam can kind of take over. Clamp would be utterly broken if it had like 90% accuracy or something like that. I truly believe that. Okay. This early game's a little tricky because I have some unorthodox methods for wild Pokemon grinding. So I probably do need to do whatever, but I mean, like we said earlier, we do have the Pokemon yellow palette. Oh, the Brock split's very quick, so it's very easy to miss. You'll get another chance at it. We'll do another run after this, probably. And you can see that we're kind of low right here. And as usual, guys, I'm making a safe state. I'm catching a bird on the first try. I do have a Master Ball, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm playing red version today. On stream, I usually play blue version, but I've also made the tiny little change to my ROM to where I put Sandshrew into the red version to give me that extra chance here. I'm actually going to drop my first save right here. Okay, we want to get this. We want to start seeing um, Geodudes, especially after we pick up Water Gun here. In the original run, I was relying on... Uh, supersonic to get past a couple of tougher challenges and i kind of um i kind of went away with that i went with more of a clamp strategy i'd rather not knock out zubats but i do need quite a bit of experience here and i feel like if i skip too many of them i'm not going to reach it and i'm going to have to waste some time grinding yeah supersonic 55 percent accuracy i'm not in love with it Four hit, that's the best case scenario right there is a four hit clamp. We just want to get rid of our clamp PP. I'm actually going to pause it real quick because, uh, let me see what I'm doing. No, we pick them off. I just, I pick them off and throw them to the side. Uh, okay. I need about 780 experience of wild Pokemon. I don't know what I'm at, but I know where I need to be. I need to be... Level 16, about 640 experience from 17. So I don't keep up the exact number. That makes it easier. As far as optionals go, I just battled one. So we got the hiker and we got the double grass last. Okay. Fair enough. I need some dudes. I'll take a level 11 Zubat. Where's my dudes at? I said it on the last stream. Uh, Geodude is just a stupid Pokemon. I don't care who agrees or not. You literally throw him out and he just goes, dude. You're gonna notice some different sprites. That Bell Sprout sprite was uh, slightly different. I don't have the full implementation of the Space World stuff, but we will see some differences here. Oh, I gotta battle him. And we'll call him out as we make it to it. Mammoth Swine might be good, but after the performance of Diggersby and Obstagoon being less than optimal, less than what I would want. I don't think I can just do a Pokemon because it's good anymore. I think I have to do cross-gen runs that are popular 
legendaries or pseudo legendaries. I just don't think people want to see anything else. So I'm worried about a lowland summer, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's going to do as good as I would like. I haven't seen a, what have I seen one Geodude here? Eh, there's a Paris. We got another Master Ball. We'll catch it and we're done. Master Balls make streaming much better, guys. Like when you're legitimately trying to catch these Pokemon and all that kind of stuff, it's awful. There's a dude. We're making decent time. The Geodude slander. What is there to slander? It's, it's literally a rock that goes, dude. Yeah, Lola Rachi's first, actually. I think it'll be good enough. Look at this Grimer Sprite. It's absolutely amazing. Voltorb keeps the same Sprite in Space World, so. So clamp on stuff like this helps. If you get a three hit clamp, it's just a one shot. So I need more experience, which is bad. Not bad, but you know. Ooh, the game's kind of helping me out here. I'm not really losing any time because I got the encounters I needed. Uh, I think I need one more and I don't care what it is. That'll get it. I'll just knock this out because I can. Don't make fun of Grimer. Grimer's doing his best in that sprout. I'm gonna heal up and I think I take on Misty, but I need to double check my notes. Let's walk out of here and do this, okay? We are at our, we're over our experience break point that we needed. Yeah, we go straight to Misty and I don't think it's great. Hello. I don't think it's great in here. I really don't want to save it yet, but what can you do? Now we have all resisted damage and this doesn't feel the best. But I mean, there's lots of Pokemon we play that 48 effective power would be okay. Now this one is a little bit of a slog, but getting Bubble Beam helps out a ton. So I'm just gonna set up like two withdrawals just to make myself a little tankier. And now it's just resisted damage. Will Misty crit five times? That's the real question. Clamp actually does better on Starmie because Clamp just does a lot of damage. If you get like a four hit Clamp, five hit Clamp, look at it, already down to half health. I think the safer play now is to switch over to the more accurate moves and just ride this one out. And there we go, just like that. Misty down pretty efficiently. Now we learn Bubble Beam. This really speeds up the game. I say this in like every video I've ever done in my life, but this speeds up Nugget Bridge, Route to Bill's house has the highest concentration of mandatory battles in the entire game. If you can speed that up in any way, if you route smartly, take a little time, train a little bit, that's all you need to do. But level 18 for this spot? Oh, you like it? Yeah, I mean, my damage, my damage and hurt sprites are very good. This music's killing me right now, hang on. Let's get you nice and subtle. I like, it. okay. Um, just like everything else, resisted damage, but we can two shot. Uh, like I was saying, I think my damage sprites and hurt sprites kind of set me apart from anybody else, but they really don't get commented on that much, which is kind of sad because, you know, you have to put extra time to do this stuff. And I think they're really unique. I think it's a great spin on stuff, but yeah, it's just, it's one of those things. Not that noticed but glad you noticed it. The faint sprout's what gets me. I work on them a lot, and then we've been doing a lot of good runs, and there's a lot of runs where you don't even get to see the faint sprout at all. So it's just like, okay. You know, Martin, my original name is was uh, Gastly's dad. That was the original name I was gonna do for this run, and I was like, you know what? Throw it back to the original video, just go with that. Uh, no, this is a cloister sprout from Space World. I have a lot of Space World sprouts. Unless you're talking about the sprout on the side, then yes, that's straight from Gen 2. But in the game, it's from Space World.
My cloister's a male, okay? So starters are like 80% male. Don't forget that. 87% male, I do believe, is the exact statistic. Whew, I almost knocked off my water. That would have been awful. Yeah, there's several sprites. If you guys see them, you can call them out. Uh, I think I changed about 20 sprites. I'm using... This is going to be a surprise, and I'll try to remember to call it out. I think we battled this... Do we battle this guy? Yeah, the Onyx Hiker. Um, you can see that I'm using yellow colors, but I also improved some of the palettes. So you can see my grays are really actually gray instead of kind of brown. Um, I'm using some green sprites as well. Specifically, the Venusaur sprite that we're going to get to see. The, the Pokemon green version uh, Venusaur sprite. God, it's so good. If you guys have never seen the Pokemon Green Venusaur Sprite, you're in for a treat. Yeah, this is a new one. This is a new... I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to get yellow colors into Pokemon Red, and eventually the solution just popped out of nowhere, and I was just like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to be working on this. Goldeen is one of my favorite Sprites, too. The new Goldeen Sprite. I think it's great. Fantastic. They do look weird, but that's the point. Like, it's not just the typical sprites. These are all Space World sprites. I will save up here on this guy because the Drowsy is just kind of like... No matter what run you do, the Drowsy has that potential to put that hypnosis on you. I just, we got a lot of, I probably should have tried to do clamp, but it's a riskier play, so I went with the more consistent. Yeah, there's some green sprites that are okay. I didn't really want to mix in yellow sprites here because I think that most of the yellow sprites are superior outside of some very few exceptions. So I didn't want to do that. I need to start. Okay, we made it past the drowsy. I actually had that mark as a potential reset point. Yeah, some of them aren't too different in this version that I'm playing now, but there are some subtle. We're about to see Growlithe. Growlithe sprite's so bad in the Space World stuff that I just had to put it in here because it's funny. You're about to see it. Ponytoss looks bad too, but I couldn't get that one to... That one needed some work and I didn't have time to do the work. Uh, we're doing a four repel strat because we're going to be buying very soon. Let's just get this situated. I'll go ahead and just sell the potions. Just get them out of there. Uh, I need to pause because I do. I think I have to battle an extra trainer here. Awful Muse Sprite, probably green. Uh, red and blue has a pretty awful Muse Sprite, to be honest with you. The Space World Mew is pretty good, but I don't really see the point of implementing it because, I mean, we're never going to see Mew. Uh, what are we doing here? No, we actually don't grind any extra right here. Hang on, let me just double check, make sure I'm missing something. I battled the Onyx Trainer. I think the extra grinding I did in Mount Moon put... I need to be level 24 after rival number 3. It looks like I just go straight Gentleman Candy. And then straight to the rival. So this is actually a pretty quick. Now what's going to be bad and what I can almost... Like on stream we always have bad luck guys. You know that. Lieutenant Surge has good AI in Pokemon Red and Blue. So I have no doubt. But look, look at this Growl of Sprite. Everybody Growl of the Sprite coming up. <laughs> ah you little, you little pathetic dog. <laughs> That's official Game Freak Sprite by the way. That's for Space World Demo. Is it wearing sunglasses? It might as well be. I'm not excited about Lieutenant Surge and I don't, there's nothing I can do about it really. Uh oh, I'm getting kind of hurt. I shouldn't have threw away my potions. Oh my God, Brood Witch. 
Okay, this might be a little tough because I'm gonna have to use two super potions. But we can go ahead and use cut here. Go ahead and use our little tombstoner. And we need to also use one. We're using a rare candy here. Level 25, damage rounding threshold. You already know. This is the best I could do without wasting a ton of time on Surge. And at the end of the day, like you guys already know, like sometimes you just have to make some concessions. You have to realize that some stuff's not gonna be the best. If I can get a four hit clamp without it going for double Thunderbolt, I win. Crit there's perfect. I can one shot the Pikachu regardless. Now I need a, a clamp to hit. Thundershock, crit, not great. Okay, that's a reset. He crit, turn one. What can you do? The trash can's always skipped because it's just RNG. If you don't skip it for your runs, like a, one run could be better than the other just because you got lucky on the uh, trash can skip. I think ever, I think for over a year I've been skipping the trash can with a coating. There we go, we got it. So it wasn't too bad. You can see the rare candy really kind of pays off there. Now we're cruising. That was one of the, the low spots of the run. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a pretty standard thing that most channels that are similar to mine do. Like, I mean, it's just a... Like, you want to... For me, I like to eliminate most of the RNG uh, as far as, like, outside of the battles go. And that's one of the bigger RNG things. It's also why I add Master Balls and stuff like that, because you don't want Surge Trash Can puzzles or trying to find a Paris in Pokemon Red to impact your run too much. Yeah, you could save state, but yeah, it's just, I do, I've done thousands of Pokemon Red runs. I can only imagine how much time of my life I would have wasted if I didn't have it automated. Automation is key. Automation is the future, guys. I don't know if going straight Aurora Beam's smart. I think maybe clamping the Venonat here would be the best play, but I'm just going to go for a Aurora Beam. It's a range. I hit it. And remember guys, you want to make a save at the start here because if you have to reload for whatever reason and you have a repel that's active, it will just go away. And I buy a very specific amount of repels. If you lose one repel, all of a sudden, boom, you're in Zubat City. Uh, Clamp actually here, just like for the Starmies, this is another area where Clamp kind of shines a little bit. And I think there's going to be one more time that Clamp's okay outside of this little segment. But I think the the addition of kind of relying on clamp a little bit is what pushed this over the edge. I didn't really give a prediction for this. Um, I was hitting 240 on times four speed. So I think in the 220s is easily possible, especially after a second run. I'm excited to see. Like, I don't know... But the way the surge split is, I don't know if we can confidently say that this is like a high tier top of the line Pokemon at the end of the day, but I do think that it has top five potential. At the end of the day, only the top three at the moment are like not really perfect Pokemon, but pretty close to it. Uh, I love the addition in later gens where it's like, your appell ran out, would you like to use another one? Yes. Or you can just, Gen 2, you can just click. Meow Sprite's different, barely though. We get to see another Growlithe though. Are you guys excited for that? I think we, yeah, coming up, I think it's the last time we have to use Clamp. If I can get good Clamp luck. Growlithe. <laughs> The inventory, that's why I have a bag. That's why I have a bag number on my overlay. I've gotten something I've been trying to get better at is my inventory management for Gen 1. And 
you know, it goes a long way because it's pretty bad in Gen 1. It's, the limit's so low. When I play Gen 2, I'm just like, God, this is so good. I think I ran out of inventory one time in Gen 2 ever. And that's when I first started. I'm 99% sure that we're just going down to Rocket Hideout, but I want to double check. I do need to pick up PP ups. The question is, do I get the... I like to say, okay, so... Yes, he made it through Cloister pretty good. There's a PP up when you cut the bush uh, to the right down here. And I've been trying out a new small time save, quote unquote, I don't know yet. Uh, when I'm when I'm finally gonna do Erica, I'll just go that way, cut the bush, and then you can go down for a faster Erica time. I think it might save a little time. Uh, but the rocket hideout, there's a couple of important things in here, and I'm convinced at this point, watching other videos, hearing other people talk about stuff on stream, I'm the only guy that thinks double edge is like a worthwhile move. And today we're about to see double edge again. We're about to see double edge take us to places that try attack could never take us. I will pick up this PP up. I'm a double edge kind of guy. I think you owe it to yourself. If you're trying to get the fastest runs with Pokemon or you think you're good with Pokemon and you're actually trying to give the Pokemon the best shot, you owe it to yourself to at least try double edge. Like you get to that late game, a late game battle and you're like, man, I just don't do just enough damage. Well, 20 extra base power, my friend. There you go. I mean, I'd love to have body slam, but you gotta, you know, you gotta work with the hand that you're dealt. And today we do not have it. Try attacks just like a sir. No, it's just strength that you can actually teach off. A uh, new coughing sprite. Not that much different. I really wanted the new Zubat sprite, but it was the colors were messed up and I'd have to actually edit it if I didn't want to do that. I really just wanted to get something working and tested for stream, so I think everything's good on this ROM. Flare Blitz. As I would love to say, I have Flare Blitz coming up in a couple of runs. So, I can't tell you how much use it's going to get. Flare Bit. We'll just, we'll, you'll see Flare Blitz when we get there. I'd love to use it. I was talking about this uh, yesterday, I believe. Uh, when I designed my cross-gen runs, I designed the ROM and the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will I start actually playing it. And sometimes I'll design moves and stuff and they just aren't that useful. Did I win? No, it was my first race ever. I fell for a speedrunner line it cost me and it's whatever. It was the worst kind of randomizer where you don't get cut real quick. And when I don't get cut real quick, I kind of lose my way. Yeah, Dodrio is going to be pretty good. I should have used Clamp here, but I wasn't paying attention. I probably should have saved. I'm going to do a save state. Feels good to be on my own time. My resets are a little messed up right now. They're not in the middle. I just noticed that. Clamp's another good right here, but I missed. Well, game dev, I tried a live my own and it worked, but I was completely bluffing and making stuff up. But what I made up was actually correct and they went for it and it worked out. I bluffed that I already went to Bill's house and that it was a really good item and they ended up going there and it was actually cut. So I was just behind. Okay, so I think it's now time for our buy. And you guys already know, I'm gonna make a save state when I get in here because I mess up my buy every single week. Every single week. We're at, this is so beautiful, guys. This is what happens when you test stuff out. I'm exactly at 20 items and I can just do everything I need to do in here. Nugget. And then there should be an iron. I need to double check, make sure. Do I sell the full restore or no? Do I sell the full restore or no? It looks like no. I don't need counter. This is where I cut out a lot of stuff. When I was optimizing, this is where I cut out a lot of stuff. Kindle C with the 499. Appreciate the support. 
Actually, my first channel member, if you guys are wondering. Uh, da -da -da, let me see. This is where I cut out a lot. I changed a lot of stuff last second here. Because I was going for this weird strategy to make Lorelai faster, and then I decided not to do it, so I need to double check. Uh, two TMs. No need for rocks. I don't trust it. Okay, this is why we saved it. This is why we saved it. I just don't trust it. You know what I'm saying, guys? Ice beam. If I could, I would cut out those top four TMs. Uh, and I do believe... What are we buying? Five calciums? Can I afford five calciums? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, it's perfectly planned out don't let teach your calcium to your Paris remember that it's an important tidbit okay so now we're going ice beam and double edge we're done with clamp clamp has served its little early game usefulness we're done with it and now We can move on to bigger, better things. I just need to keep track of what I'm doing because I know this little mid game here is a little bit wonky for a cloister and I don't really want to mess it up. Never fun to mess up a route you've worked on. Yeah, freshwater boost all the attacks actually by 100%, believe it or not. Uh, Pokemon Tower shouldn't be too much of a thing. Let me just go ahead and look ahead a little bit. Then we're doing the Celadon gym. And we gotta deposit some items. Okay, just if I remember that, I'm fine. God, this yellow color palette in Pokemon Red, guys, it looks so good. I'm so happy I got this to work. No one's gonna care. No one's gonna be excited about it. Everybody's just watching Scott's video because he premiered at the same time I'm streaming. But for me, I'm very excited about this. Growlithe Sprite, best to change I've done all day. And you can just double edge this guy, double edge, boom. And you got Ice Beam. You need Ice Beam to get past Erica now without having to skip her for a long time. And I, I if you can skip those sometimes, it's okay. Uh, I, I, I forgot to make a hard save earlier, so I gotta. Well, some people care. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm thinking big picture. You know what I'm saying, like. I'm thinking channel growth in the future. I'm just saying in the short term, you know, it doesn't help my channel. Your channel's never helped when someone bigger than you is like, oh shit, I got a video I'm releasing on the same exact time you're streaming. You know, the randomizer went fine yesterday, but like, unless I have time to prepare for a race, I think I'm probably done with races forever. Unless we're like preparing or I'm doing them on my own time or whatever, because ultimately, if you want to get in any kind of race like that, or anybody has any kind of power, like let's say Scott, for instance, the only way to do a race in that situation is if you're doing Scott's rules. So there's no room for me to do my rules and I'm kind of out of my element when I'm doing it. So I just, I don't know, just do my own thing. Let everybody else do what they want. It's kind of how it's going right now anyway. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Kind of waiting inevitably for the Parasect video to drop. Maybe in like five years from now. Go Bat Sprite. New Sprite. Coughing's a new Sprite as well. And you can just see, like, the problem, one of the, the, the crux of Cloyster's problem is that he has 50 base HP. It's very low. So double edge... <laughs> double edge can be a double-edged sword, if you will. Because it hurts you a good bit, despite your defenses being so high, because you have such low base damage. But it's really... It comes in clutch in, like, one unique situation, you know? 
I'm going to heal here and I need to see what I'm depositing. Let me pause it. What are we, what are we depositing? Three items. Wow, three hill items. You don't really want to deposit stuff, but here we are. Today we're depositing stuff. Okay, so now here's that little mini time skip I've been working on. You can pick this up. And this allows you to have like a shorter path down to Erica. So you could save a little time picking that up. Just a little bit. It's the little things, guys. Am I battling Cool Trainer? I am battling Cool Trainer. Uh, Double Edge is a side grade against Lorelai. You kind of have like, you know, I always like to say you have like an option route against Lorelai. If she uses Growl or you get an attack drop or something like that, no, you can't use it. But you have Withdraw. Remember, guys, we have a badge booster. We have a badge boosting move, so our... Attacks can hit pretty hard regardless as if they're resisted or not. It's a little bit slow. And originally I was routing in a bunch of extra stuff to pick up Mimic. And I was using Mimic. I was using Tri-Attack for the early game. I would swap over to Mimic for Lorelai. And then I would swap Mimic for Double Edge at the very end. And it just took a little bit extra time. And I was like, no, you know what? I think this runs better than that. Like, I think it could get by without it. That's Erica down. I have no doubt in my mind. I don't even want to check my notes. I know we're going down here for a safari zone visit. Yeah, Cloyster's not the problem. New Snorlax Sprite, amazing. If I can pick up this PP up on the first try, I'll, I'll get it. God, was there ever any doubt? I got the cleanest cycling road movement on the planet. I've never missed a hidden item in my life, you know? That's all for Blizzard later. Pretty obvious, I guess, but... With only 5 PP and kind of like a heavy reliance on it, you really would like it to have 8 PP. And if you could just route everything in, kind of like I did with the, the... Holding off on it a little bit. I know I'm picking up everything, but I don't know if I'm using everything here. I probably am. If I'm picking them up, I'm not going to buy anymore. Oh, that's a little time loss. I can just pick up everything anyway. And I think I'm routed good enough to where I can keep it going. Because I am at 19 slots right now. I do need to make a quick pause. I just scooped that. I just scooped it up as I was going by. Just rare candy. Boop. Pop it in the bag. PP up. Pop it in the bag. Anatomical reasons. I was waiting for that. I knew Cloyster guys is the most degen Pokemon. Every time you do it, someone's going to say some crazy vagina related thing. It's without fail. Okay. We need to learn surf. I can hold off on that just for a minute. No, it's a different route. Hang on. What is my route here? Hang on. I'm a little bit lost. What shenanigans did I come up with? No, we're doing Koga next. Okay. For these, the first juggler in the gym, if I use one withdrawal, I can quadruple uh, double edge at a 69% success rate. 69, nice. <sighs> but I'm worried. I only have two super potions left. And I'm worried about it. So I think I go YOLO and I just go with what I have written down. I know it's risky. And it's... I sold my potions early. I bought only four super potions. I think I have three right now. I think we just have to take the risk. Set this thing up for y'all because it's going to be a, a hoot and a holler. So, okay. This is one of the big points of the run to where I made some changes, some huge changes. 
So we're just going to go with it. One withdrawal. And now all of a sudden we have a 69%. Okay, of course we didn't get it. 69% chance to knock out the drowsies. And we, we're going to get in... We're dead. That's another reset. Okay. Maybe we... Since we're going to do another run anyway, let's test this for a second. Some of my stuff needs a little bit more thorough testing. Maybe we go double withdrawal. That gives us a 100% chance to knock it out, so we won't take any moves. Now, the, if the Cadaver goes for a move, we're probably dead. So this is my hope right here. Knock everything out. We can double Super Potion after, but it's really dependent on the Cadaver there. To not use a move. I need to learn Surf, by the way. I still haven't done that for whatever reason. Oh, I gotta reload it. I gotta reload. Uh, this isn't because I made a, I made a huge mistake, but it wasn't because of like the Pokemon's failure. This is what I keep forgetting. Why am I talking to that guy? Reset. No, we don't want to fight that guy. There's something key that I added in kind of late uh, that I keep forgetting. When I practiced this run the other day, I forgot this thing too, and I just can't remember it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I cannot remember this. It'll give us another chance that a double edge was disabled, guys. God. You see, you, tra you basically trade your health for guaranteed one-shots. Hello, Miss Goomba. And you know what? That's fine. We can come back to that later. I do need to just learn surf. But the key thing here is using five, all five of my rare candies. Yeah, I mean, like, you're basically trading two super potions to speed up one battle. You know what I mean? So here, I'll just save it anyway. We use five rare candies, all of them, right here. And you might be saying, why would you do that? Slow leveling group kind of sucks. Level 40, guarantee the one shot. And we can't one shot the Hypno anyway. Just go ahead. How do I know? Practice. I don't know what I'm doing. I wasted too much time. I'm going to reload. Uh, Cloyster's doing all right. I have access to damage ranges. Have I already learned? Sir? What am I doing? Let me reset one more time. I'm like confuzzled right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm thinking about Tears of the Kingdom. I'm thinking about how quick we can get this run done so I can play Tears of the Kingdom. Poison gas, brothers. I'm going to make a save here. I'm going to take a risky Koga fight. I'm not going to heal. I'm not going to use an antidote. I don't care. Um, at this range, using the candies, I do believe Surf is a one-shot guaranteed. No, I haven't started the game yet. Oh, oh, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, I played a few hours. I was about to give you the most sarcastic response. New Weezing Sprite, too. Makes this fight very comfortable. I need to take a drink of water. My voice is dying. I'm poisoned, so I owe it to you guys to go ahead and just heal up here because if I don't, my screen would be blinking and everybody's going to be upset. I don't know if we do anything extra in here. I do know that I still have carbos and protein to use and I can use those in a minute. Uh, let me pause and just make sure. I've already had my energy. Energy gone. I'm a big fan of Slowbro. Slowbro is probably my favorite. Slowbro and Slowpoke. That's the answer for both of those. Specifically, the Galarian Slowpoke Shiny. Oh, it's good. That's a Chef's Kiss Pokemon. It's my favorite color. So good. What are we doing down here? Mandatory stuff. We're getting the secret key. We're getting two rare candies. Carbos. Blizzard. Very standard. 
Oh, I loved Breath of the Wild. And I think I am loving this so far. I'm loving it a lot. No, don't do it. Save yourself some time. It's important to note that I can hold off there until then. When I get to the key, when I get to the secret key, I'm going to do some inventory real quick. Where we're full and I can't pick it up. There's a few things I need to do. Oh, I don't have any more room for items. I'll do it now then. Uh, we want to learn Blizzard. We have intentionally kept Ice Beam in the top spot, so we can do that. And then we can go boom, boom, boom real quick. And then I can just find these car buses. Find these proteins. Boom. Boom. Secret key. Dig out. Let me see what let me see what's going on with chat for a second. You have a shiny Pokemon. Nice. Arcanon, pretty cool. I actually think Arcanon, like after doing the Nine Tails run, I think the two are very similar in terms of what they learn and stuff. I think the Arcanon run can really surprise us. Maybe if it has a tough Brock split, I can throw it in Pokemon Yellow version, but I haven't tested it at all. Your review team? I think it's a short. I think. Saying that it's a $70 worth of Breath of the Wild DLC is like, it's a little short-sighted. It almost seems like it comes from the fact that maybe somebody didn't like Breath of the Wild that much. It's like, it's it's Majora's Mask to Ocarina of Time. Like, do you think Majora's Mask was a DLC? If you do, then maybe that's the good opinion. Gumi, I love shiny Gumi. I got two shinies yesterday. I got a shiny Volibee, finally. I hatched one. And then I got a shiny shadow Teddy Ursa. And then I caught a rank three Great League Swampert. Oh, it's not broken. This this that motherfucker's gonna uh, sell 30 million copies. And deservedly so. And you can either be on two you can either be on two sides. Either you don't like stuff like I can understand not liking like weapon degradation and breaking, like that's a little tedious, yeah, sure. But like I think I think if like Tombstone or brother right here, I think if you're looking at it through that lens and you're like kind of putting it down or like you're trying to, either, there's only two explanations for it. Either you're just going for a really bad take or you're trying to be, how would you say it? You're trying to be contrarian and get views and clicks off of saying something good's bad, which is not a bad thing. It's a different, you know, it's a different style. I got burned. And I think I'm dead. Yeah, I wasn't even really paying attention to that fight. Before I reset, I'm just gonna look. I don't mind stamina. I think it could be a little better. I think the weapon degradation is a little tedious. But you learn to get past it. Like I was playing today. I was playing today and I was, what do they call it? Not Zion, but it's pretty close. Uh. You get these little things. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, but basically you make these contraptions and you got to do stuff with them. And I was trying to design a boat to get across this river. And I had to make like a T design and like weigh the, the fan on the back in a certain way. And it was just, it's different. Uh, Arcanine, this is just the original Arcanine Sprite. I do have another Arcanine Sprite, but the colors are messed up. I don't have everything implemented. So that's a reset on Blaine. Obviously, I didn't wasn't paying attention. I'm pretty sure I got burned and missed some ranges. That's not a guaranteed loss. I mean, this is this is when you mostly win. But it's all good. As far as See, I got burned again, but we got the two shot. I love the Growlithe Sprite. <laughs> It's the space where some of these rats are from the space world demo. Uh, I do believe it's time for Saffron. Okay, we're not getting the protein. Oh, we get to finally see green version Venusaur. If some of you have not seen green version Venusaur, now's your chance and it's going to be amazing. This sprout is so good. I'm going to pause it and we're going to look at it together. 
Why did I go this way through the towns? Yeah, I just, I like the color palette in Pokemon Yellow in general. This looks great. Easily one of my best works. If you got a heal, you might as well go until the color palette changes. You can instantly fly to the Pokemon Center. And if you got a heal anyway, you might as well do it. Save you a little time. I don't know if I had to there. I think I was actually burned. Green Venusaur, guys. Coming up. It's about to be my channel mascot. It don't look like... No, it don't look stoned. Yeah, it, it looks like it's melted. It's weird. Yeah, don't, I mean, you're going to be a little disappointed in rival number five, I think. Let's go ahead and just use this. I mean, it wasn't an easy fight because we obviously, like, pretty much got every other thing in the game that we could do before we fought it. But, you know. You don't like that much choke. I did also uh, fix some of the, the palettes myself. There's a lot of Pokemon like Starmie, Tauros, Porygon. I can name there's several. You know what? Just for safety, we're getting the Hyper Potion. There's several Pokemon that... Um, let me make sure I'm doing this right. What are we doing? I have no notes for this fight. It must be easy. Oh yeah, the Machoke Sprites uh, from Space World as well. A lot of these Sprites are somewhere in between... Gen 2 and Gen 1. Some of them for better, some of them for worse. You can argue that Growlithe is for worse, but I love it. Yeah, Crystal has great sprites. Now, one problem is you have to rely on Blizzard a lot. Gyarados cannot be a one-shot, but unless he does like a bunch of Dragon Rages, it's not bad. Growlithe, whoo! Get what you deserve, you little punk. Double Edge, coming in. Clutch, Green Venusaur. Guys, it's green Venusaur. Doesn't this look like the Venusaur we all know and love? He's 90% tree. It's so good. I didn't mean the double edge. Green version Venusaur, guys. He's just doing his best. I'm going to save it because I don't know. So one of these fights was tough. I don't remember. I liked it. No, I, I, I legitimately like it's it's a blend of good and funny to me, and I genuinely like it. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't just put it in the ROM just to put it in here, you know. I think I'm taking a risk here by not healing, but I really don't want to. I don't want to, and you can't make me. I think yellow version Vileplume is an A, the S tier sprite. I love, absolutely love yellow version Vileplume. A lot of the sprites aren't changed though at all. And I think surf should be good enough here. This run has some potential, guys. I'll tell you that right now. I've wasted some time. I've done some derpy little things, had a couple of resets here and there. Um, but it does have some potential. We'll see what it's all gonna come down to is the very end of the game, and if if cutting some of the stuff out mattered or not. Now this fight, I have no idea what I'm doing. Two withdrawals. Looks like a Lolan Executor sit on him. I probably shouldn't do this, but that's fine. We want to hit all these ranges. I think we could just surf this guy. I don't, I think we can just surf this guy too, but definitely uh, double edge. Two withdrawals lets you outspeed the Alakazam. That's really what you need. I think one lets you outspeed it, but you need a little extra damage as well. Uh, for fast enough, we can make it the Giovanni pre two mi uh, two hours, which is pretty fast. I don't like to use the bike here. I use the bike in almost every situation that I can, but right there, that's a really tough ledge. What does Sabrina do in that whip? Ask your mom later. I think Surf's fine right here. Yeah, Machoke Sprite's great. There's a better Machop Sprite, but like I said, I tried to implement uh, all the sprites that I could. I actually made a full ROM with every sprite, 
but half of them were just the color palette was almost reversed or glitched out i don't know what the problem is i'll have to like manually go through like 70 sprites and just like correct the colors myself and it's kind of slow but i would like to have that up and ready for myself personally because i love it i can also correct the back sprites doug trio a plus sprite look at that sprite oh we can just go we can just go straight surf here it's nothing Oh, I messed up. Did I mess up? Hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me pause it. I did. I got to reset. Obviously, it's not because I'm I'm going to lose this battle because I've already won it. Yeah, the Duck Trio is really good. Here's, here's another key optimization. I need to fight this guy for a very, very, very specific reason. I use the the fastest text. I use it on every ROM I ever do. So yes, when you use the Pokemon randomizer, there's an option for fastest text. Yes, I use it for every run. That way I can use longer names and stuff, you know? Like watching slow scrolling text is just boring. There's no skill to it. Like who wants to be like, well, I use slowest text. I'm the best Pokemon solo runner there is. Like, no, use fastest text. Save everybody the time. Who cares what Giovanni's saying? He's probably talking about a guard spec. Uh, I am going to try to go straight to rival number six and not even heal or use an elixir. I'm just going to try to save as much time because we're... I don't know our pace right now. We're on like a 220 pace. Pretty good. That's a really, really, really good run, actually. What am I doing here? What is this fight about? Okay, doing that extra battle with the Nitto King uh, extra trainer in Giovanni's Gym, it makes it to where we level up on Rhyhorn, going into Rhyhorn, and we don't level up for the rest of the fight. So that was what that was for. So now we got it set up to where we can just Blizzard the bird. And unfortunately, to get our ranges here, I think this is mainly for Gyarados. You just go ahead and you can just set up all of your withdrawals. And this should let you one shot the Gyarados. And obviously since you have Blizzard and stuff, the rest of the Pokemon didn't need that. But Gyarados is like potential trouble, especially if you start to miss Blizzards. And you might as well waste the time to set up now rather than going for something. Green Venusaur, my favorite. I love it. Okay, and then we have something else to do here. Uh, where are we at? Rival number six. We're not getting the victory road candy. We're not getting the victory road candy. Uh, see you, dude. Um, we're using all of my candies here. I picked them off, duh. I'm missing a rare candy. <gasps> Oh my god. I'm gonna reset this spot. I'm gonna do the spot over. The It's a Aqua Teen Hunger Force Season 2. I gotta think about this for a second. <laughs> I can, and I did it. I think that's his exact line. Time's running, I'm gonna reset. I messed up something. I gotta figure it out. I forgot to do something. I'm missing a rare candy. And guys, unfortunately, sometimes you forget to get strength. And I'm going to make a quick backtrack. I knew my time was looking a little too good. So a uh, little time loss. I do remember those guys with the little axes. Yeah, rival number six really consistent. I don't mind having a little reset right there just because we'll learn from next time. Hopefully we can learn. We got a few things. Hopefully everybody's enjoying Scott's completely optimized video right now while I'm struggling to remember strength. I didn't mean to use double edge, but it's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's enough already. He used tail whip so many times. I think I'm already set up. Very late. Nah, we're doing two runs today, so you're just in time to catch the real good one. There's a lot of stuff in Aqua Team that probably deserves its own show, to be honest. 
Although I think it fell off after the first few. When it got the movie, it started to fall off for me. But you know, it's a one of my favorite shows for those first few seasons. Okay, we're learning all. We're using all rare candies here. Level fifty-two is what I landed on at the end here to to nail this down as fast as possible. I see the chat moving. I'll look over in just a second. I think my playlist just ended too, so I will start another playlist in just a second. Let me just get through Victory Road. Hopefully you guys can do it without music. Hopefully your brains are developed enough to be able to make it without music for a few minutes. This is always a time-sensitive part, and if I'm not paying attention, this will cost you a good bit of time. So let me... I'm making a save state just in case I mess up this trivial little part. God, the yellow palette looks so good. I love Pokemon Yellow. Not because it's a better game, but I think just the addition of the Game Boy Color palettes make it look so good. Sprites look really good, too. Honestly, I need to make another version. With all yellow sprites. Man, I'm sitting here. I'm getting kind of annoyed there's no music now. But we're about halfway through. I'm in the zone, so let me cook. No music right now. I'll feel in the dead air by saying stuff. I really won't. I kind of put myself on the spot. The one thing that bothers me on my Gen 2 graphics ROM, uh, base ROM that I make, is that the boulders don't have a different color here. I don't know why. Okay. At some point, I need to move my elixirs, and I need to move... My full restores to the top of the list to save me some time. I have I don't I don't need to learn anything else. Everything's set up. I just need to use elixirs and full restores. So if I get that set up, uh, we're kind of cooking a little bit. And I'm already like very happy with this run already. And the fact that it could get even better on the next time means that I think the tier list is in trouble. I don't know if I'll need this, but I'm going to buy it anyway. I I need to keep note of what I've actually got. So I'm just going to do this, this, bada bing, bada boom, save it. And then we're going to pause it. Now we're going to play our Zelda coffee. Let's go back to the start. Uh, let's see. A melodic pretty good. It's, it's over already? What was it? A five minute video? I guess I have been live for over an hour. I didn't notice that. Uh, we did Pokemon Yellow with Pikachu and it was really good to see Pikachu back there. I mean, I got a link for everything. 42 minutes. Yeah, I, I didn't know I was going this long. Yeah, Pokemon Yellow really buffed Pikachu. But yeah, we're ready for the Elite Four. Lorelai's not great. It's kind of a YOLO strat. It's very slow, and I kind of... This is another concession battle where I had to compromise some other stuff because it's not great. We got a new Dugong Sprite, by the way. Growls are the worst. We got a growl, okay? Two growls. It gives you badge boost, okay? So start to realize that it's going to help you. So now, with eight badge boosts to your special and our fucking... our 994 defense... Uh, we can start doing some significant damage. Cloister Sprite's really good in this one. It's very similar to that. And you can see that we can do some pretty good, you know. Surf isn't resisted by the Jinx. New Jinx Sprite, by the way. I kind of work backwards on these ROM. Now, this is where... I'm worried. Maybe Body Slam or something like that, but it's fine. You can see that it really... I was worried about nothing, I guess. With five Surfs... I am just going to go straight into Bruno. I mean, just literally just Google Zelda lo-fi playlist. And there's like a Zelda one sprite on it. I think we have just enough PP to do this and swap over to Blizzard for the Machamp and then use an elixir after the fight. Never mind, we just went double Blizzard. Zelda Lo-Fi Copyright Free Playlist. That's the key part. 
Okay, so Agatha, not the best spot in the world. I'm gonna try a YOLO strat with one setup. A new Gengar Sprout too. No, we're not doing YOLO anymore. She brought out the Golbat, so I'm done with YOLO. We need Blizzard Heavy here. I think I can one-shot the Haunter with four setups. Apparently not, but I did freeze it. I'm just going to go all in on the Blizzards. How did Arbok... Did I level up? Out of all the people, how did Arbok survive? You can see it's not bad, but it's not the best. You know what I mean? I'll save it. I don't think I need to save it, but, you know, we'll save it anyway. I think there's just no setup. I think this is just like... This is straightforward. I think I might have... I think I need to go surf here. It's going to be slower, but I'm worried I'm going to run out of um, blizzards. Probably not, but, you know, I'd like to have a couple for a uh, uh, new Dragonite Sprout. And this is what all these adjustments were for. I really want to test this out. No, this is a double day. This is a double run kind of day. One, two, three. Take it out. These three setups should allow me to one shot the Alakazam. This is what double edge is for. We take some damage. That's fine. We level up perfectly after that fight. So now we go one, two, and now we go back on the sweep. Gyarados might be a menace with Dragon Rage. Yep, exactly what he's going to do. As long as I don't miss the last um, Ice Beam, we should be good to go. Easy. So I can tell you right now that this run's already number six. You like how I put the crown on the end of its horn? Anybody else? Anybody else out there? I'm worried today because, man, there's nobody's like we got a significant viewer drop today. And when I take a break between runs, the viewership always drops. So it worries me a little bit. <sighs> I need that drink of water. Guzzling water. Okay, let's get to the end of these credits. Get to the end of the credits. I'll go ahead. Let me just reset the reset counter. Now, there's a high chance on the next run, maybe we run into some problems with Surge and we reset like four times there. Um, before we go on this break and everything. So, we're already dropping viewers. People are... I shouldn't call people stupid, but I'm doing double runs today. Maybe people don't know. Okay, we got everything reset. Let me swap over to here. Any release date? Uh, anywhere from two weeks from now to the next 10 years. Okay. I am going to go out of the room real quick, stretch my legs for a few minutes, come back, analyze the data, make some corrections, play a little bit cleaner, and see if we can knock down our time. Keep in mind that this is already a top six Pokemon with the time that it just got. And I would also, if you want to stick around after or anything like that, um, I'd like to talk about the tier list at the end. Uh, I got some ideas I'm floating around. I would like to just kind of throw it around on stream for a minute, mainly with resets and maybe what the penalty for reset should be. So I'm going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. You know, I'll be right back. It says it on the screen. Right back. Run number two's next. I don't know how much clearer I could be, but I'll be right back. I'll see you in a moment.
All right, we're back. Take a sip of water. Uh, there we go. A couple of things I could cheer up. A couple of bad movements here and there. We could get worse clamp luck. I don't know if the, the second run can be better, but I mean, we owe it to ourselves to give it a, to give it a shot. feels bad man last week i had my um record for concurrent viewers in a stream the the stream went very well i think it was two weeks ago actually stream went very well last couple of streams went very well this one i don't know what it is we not doing the best today with 23 people in here but we're about ready to hop back in and all we can do is give it a shot. Do our best. I could see with like really good luck and really good movement. I could see like a 223 time or something like that. I messed up already. We're going to have to restart. I accidentally went over to Bulbasaur. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're going to try to get it. High potential here. I do think this might be the best run in the game that's not like elite. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to do some quick item or management here. Let's just do that. Aurora Beam to the top, clamp second. Good clamp luck. Maybe some good surge luck. We had a couple of unlucky resets here and there. The Elite Four went so smooth, so so much more buttery smooth than I thought. Because that Lorelai fight's like got the potential to be pretty bad. Not bad, but slow. I think I've even lost it with like bad, like Confuse Ray and Paralysis luck. Let's just keep it calm, keep it steady. I feel like I've already kind of fumbled movements a little bit, but. 225 something was the first time I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let me get into this battle. We'll look over at chat. I'm trying to focus. Do I've never even done a dugong run. That's what you're saying. We missed two clamps that battle. I'm not happy with that. Oh, Cloister. Yeah, Cloister's nothing. It's special's pretty low. And by the time we have that much boost, it's really just Lapras at the end, a little tanky. Obviously, if you get um, you get hit with a couple of Growls, you do a lot more damage. I missed the Clamp. There's three missed Clamps already. Not ideal. I only have one clamp left. It's going to be a little tight here, but I got to keep going. I, I got to... Uh, I got to make it work. Yeah. 
You are 100% correct, Deadpool. Okay, that's another clamp miss, and now we're out of clamp. That's just kind of how it goes with clamp, guys. Like, there's not much you can do about it. This is gonna be kind of close, but I think we're just fine. We could definitely shave some time off in Mount Moon. I actually think in a second I'm going to pause it and I'm going to just look at something real quick. I, I need to know how much experience um, the Raticate Grunt gives you. Maybe the Raticate Grunt's the answer to shave off a minute of time alone, which is kind of crazy to think about. Yeah, we barely made it through this route, but that's all good. Now, like usual, we're making a save state. We're going to catch a flyer on the first attempt. That's a Jigglypuff, so we're going to reload the save state. That took too long. We just really want it. This is what you do for every single Pokemon in my run, so everybody gets the same treatment. It's not like I'm giving Cloyster special, special treatment here. You don't want catching a Pokemon to be part of the RNG that decides a run. When I pick up Water Gun... I'm going to pause it and I, I just want to see what the Raticate Grunt gives you. Okay, quick pause. Let me see what... Let me see what I can cook up right here. I don't have this set up to show you guys. I, I would if I could, but I don't want to waste any more time than I got to. Let's see. Mount Moon. Uh, Where are we at? Raticate Grunt seems like maybe the solution here. Uh, so I'm going to go Raticate Grunt, add trainer. The Raticate Grunt gives 397. Let me think about it for a second. I know where I need to be and I'm just trying to um, I'm just trying to make sure so this is gonna be like a quick hopefully pretty quick Mount Moon Hikers we'll make it work I know what I need to be I think that's gonna be the answer because I was relying on geodudes here and I think it's a little bit slower because at the end I had to wait for some wild encounters. It's quicker if you get lucky. Like you're gonna you're, you're gonna get encounters anyway. You know what I'm saying? So like, you might as well fight them, and they're like easy one shots. Got clamp so strong, but if you have to rely on it, it can really it's it's almost a double edge in itself. Like seventy percent accuracy. I didn't one shot there, that's unfortunate. There's a dude. I've knocked out a few Pokemon. I don't want to need to be at the end. Level 16, about 640-ish from Somewhere around there from 17. We'll give this a shot. I didn't save it. I'll make a save state because I wasn't thinking about it, to be honest with you. What about clamp here? Yeah, and I think that might be the difference of what could save us at the end of the day. And I'll continue just to one-shot everything I see anyway. Geodude's eyes always look white like that. It's pretty funny. I think we're well over the experience that we need already. No real harm, I guess, in, in 
battling stuff. I should have battled that. I don't know why I didn't, but you know. Man, why am I not saving it? Grammar Sprite A plus. I'm a little bit short. I would love to get an encounter right here. Please, God. I didn't catch a Pokemon. I am going to catch a Sand Shrew here. Perfect. Every other Grimer Sprite has its hands in the air. You can't expect them all to be the same. I love the Goldeen Sprite too. Somebody said something about it in chat earlier. I'm confused right now, which is kind of annoying, but it's not costing me just yet. I will make a save here in front of Misty. A uh, couple withdrawals just to just to make the tackles do as minimal damage as possible. And now we only have resisted damage, but getting Bubble Beam right here is so important to speed up the route. And we would love our clamps just to hit. This is close. Couple of crits, we could be out. No, we're good. Party hats. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> I don't think I need to save it here, but better safe than sorry. I need to move Bubble Beam to the second slot. Aurora Beam's the more useful move on this route, so maybe moving Bubble Beam up to the top would be the better play. I'll do that in this battle. They do the exact same damage. They're essentially the same move. One carries a speed drop chance, the other carries an attack drop chance. We'll see, I need to be better at getting my split times uh, added up and everything like that. I don't, I'm not very good at that no comparisons I don't take the time to do that I know roughly about where I'm at okay I fought the onyx trainer up here I think that's the only extra thing that I do. We got the dig grunt coming up. And that could be a potential time loss if we get hit with hypnosis. I mean, realistically, it's a 50-50 shot if he even goes for it. So it's a very low chance, but it happens so often, it's annoying. I'll go ahead and move Aurora Beam to the top again. And you might be, you know, like, why are you switching moves so much? Just whatever's at the top slot actually saves you a pretty significant amount of time, to be honest with you. Just because I can go into this battle, I'm just holding the same button. I don't have to do anything. Everything's automated. It essentially allows me to move at the same speed that my game's at. Whereas if you have to move down and make uh, human inputs and decision, you can't move as fast as the game's moving because it's at times three speed. You could never move that fast. 
So this is just like a tiny little time save. Something very worth it to do. Quick attack, not the best. Took a little shot there. Now, I made a mistake with my potions on the last run. I don't need to make that mistake again. I need to escape rope out of here. I've been playing a lot of yellow on the side here, so... Can't escape rope in that game, so I need to remember that. I think we're fine almost if we go straight Aurora Beam, but for this battle, I will go... Uh, bubble Beam just to save a little bit of time. Not time, but PP just in case. I don't think it'll matter. But literally, at half a second, it's all I lost. Confusion, that's good. Bubble Beam, double, uh, two shot, great. <sighs> okay, we got Surge coming up. Surge was a problemo last time. We only had one reset, but trust me guys, he's worse than that. Like, that fight's a little bit harder than what I indicated. You would really, in a perfect world, maybe he goes for a X speed and you hit like a four turn clamp and then he doesn't go for like a thunderbolt and crit. There's a couple of win conditions you can do, but a clamp four or five shot really, really goes a long way. And we are doing a full repel strat here. I mean, Surge is a joke until he's not. Like, I guess if you watch J Rose's video, he always makes fun of him, but he has good AI. In one video, he'll make fun of Surge. And the next one, he's playing a water top, and he's like, well, we had to hold off and grind up for Surge. So, is he a joke? He has good AI in Pokemon Red and Blue. He has high crit rate, and he has Thunderbolt. The only Pokemon in the game that just naturally has Thunderbolt. So, if you're weak to him, he's honestly not that bad. Like if a Pokemon learns Dig, it's like, wow, he's a joke because a Pokemon that has, with good attack has Dig. Wow, you know? But that's not the case here. We don't have any great moves. And we're weak to Thunderbolt. And that thing can crit. And we have low base HP, so we really can't tank the hits very well. I guess I'll use my regular potions here. I'm gonna go with this. I'm missing like just a little bit of health. I don't know if that would matter. Like if I would have lived at one HP or something like that, maybe, but I think I'm willing to take the risk right here. This is where things could get a little dicey. I don't love the, the surge fight. I do need to use a rare candy, so I don't need to forget that. Uh, pretty key into making this damage rounding threshold just so important for this fight to make it even remotely possible. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Okay, I gotta reload because I accidentally used a rare candy on Sandshrew. It is what it is. You can tank one Thunderbolt if it doesn't create. I gotta fight rival number three again. Uh, the absolute worst case scenario is a... You don't knock out the Voltorb and it uses uh, Sonic Boom. And at that point, like... You would disable the move I'm using, you little... Man, I got unlucky that fight. Yeah, I accidentally used a rare candy on my Sandshrew, so I had to restart there. I'm not counting that against... Uh, Cloyster. That'd be pretty stupid if you did, I think. I am going to use two potions this time because I was a little bit lower. RNG, I lost a little bit of time, but I mean, I had to I had to reload. Everything's so precisely measured out that like if you just waste a rare candy on a random Pokemon, like what's the point? What's the point, my dude? I 
Okay, we got the candy usage. Good thing I didn't save it. Good thing I used the candy before. Okay, no Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom instantly. We can one-shot the Pikachu reliably. Now we just kind of hope. Thunder Shot, we can survive. One, two. Only a two-turn clamp, and we didn't get it. So I think we're going to see why Surge is more of a problem this run. Uh, hopefully. We only had one reset last time. It's that the, uh, the Voltorb Sonic Boom really hurts. We didn't get it there, though. We need like a four turn clamp and it's sad that we need that. I got paralyzed and I missed. And I got fully... <sighs> what a bitch. That's fine. I would like to talk about the tier list after the fact, but I just don't know. I don't seem like there's enough people here to warrant like any crazy decision to the tier list today. Thunder shot. One, two, three. Into a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt crit, by the way. Okay, so we're seeing more of the holes in Cloister right now. Surge, not really that great. And we've been avoiding the sonic boom. We avoided it this time, too. It's really simple. Just go for like a thunder shot. Thunderbolt crit. Like, what can you do against that? Sonic Boom. Man. He crit again. You see how it goes? This happened in my Pikachu video too, to where like Surge really wasn't a problem for me. And we started recording and all of a sudden he crits every single time. And it's like, okay, cool. It's not like I'm doing this for a live audience or anything and trying to make it through. Like, what do you do about that? There's nothing you can do. Oh my god, is that three crits in a row? How improbable is that? I'm getting pissed is what I'm getting right now. And I do think it goes for something like, I can think of a few runs off the top of my head that had a lot of resets on one singular battle. And I'm not sure what to think about that, like in terms of the tier list. Thunder Shock. I crit, it's over. No, it's not. No, Surge is a good... I Honestly, I, I like J. Rose's videos. If they come up, I watch them all the time, but... I don't like the Surge memes because it's like... I don't know. It's like saying, Erica's the worst gym leader because I'm only playing like... And I'm learning Ice Beam every fight, you know? Like, Surge is only easy because you're doing easy Pokemon. He crit again! Guys... Guys, 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 guys. He's critting every single time. He's crit four times in a row. Can we do a quick math? I don't know Rachu's speed off the top of my head. I want to do some quick maths real quick. It's, I think it's like a point, point one six percent chance for a Pokemon with 20% crit to crit four times in a row. Man, the first run might be the run. We'll look at the time rather than the reset. So we could just like, just know that Cloyster didn't have a great surge split. I can't believe I crit with Clamp. Thunderbolt, is it going to crit? I missed the Clamp. Jesus Christ. Hey, my resets are already set up for double digits though. At least I don't have to change that. Silver lining. I'm very upsetty spaghetti about the results of this one because I haven't been doing double uh, run streams and then we come back for this week and just in general the views are down. Did I, I missed the clamp again. This isn't Gen 6. I mean, this is Gen 1, so... About 20% roughly crit rate to, to hit four crits in a row. 
Very unlikely, to say the least. I mean, crits are standardized from Gen 2 on, right? Now I can't hit a clamp. Oh my god. I'm getting a little frustrated, but I mean, I'm, I'm a persona. I'm on stream. I got to keep it together. Like, to be honest with you guys, I would... If I was doing this off stream, I would just restart the entire run. Just because I've never seen... I've never seen this amount of bad luck. And that's all it takes right there. That's all it takes. Like, just hit a clamp. Don't get crit. Like, it's not rocket science. It's not like this fight some impossible over... Like, obstacle you could never overcome. Like, literally on the last attempt, we only had one reset here. And now it's like... Oh, I guess we have 11 times the resets right here. And I can't help but think that dealing with that frustration is it's not going to help me throughout the rest of the run. Like in no situation is this going to help me. Like, you know, I learned a valuable lesson watching the computer crit 17 times in a row. You know, it really taught me something about my play by watching Clamp miss 100 times. It's complete hogwashery. Pardon my language. I think you want to go straight Aurora Beam here. I think last episode I did mention that um, Venonat probably could use a clamp because it's not 100% to one shot it here, but it's been, we've been hitting the ranges, so I don't see any reason to change that up. Now, outside of resets, I don't know if this one's any faster at all. But it's not really until the later part of the game where I feel like I can actually save some time. There's no way it's that much slower, if it is slower. Uh, we gotta use Clamp once again, and I hate Clamp. Clamp has the potential to be the strongest move in the game. But Jesus Christ, man. If, if, if Rachi wasn't critting, I was missing. And that's just the game sometimes, I guess, because it's just like, it's so frustrating, guys. I can't like, it's hard to put it into words. It's like, okay, I got a 70% chance to hit this move. Okay, I'm going to miss it multiple times in a row. Oh, you only have like a less than 20% chance to crit? That's fine. We'll let you crit four times in a row. Complete garbage. I'm frustrated. Maybe a little bit outside of the game itself, but God, but that result especially kind of compounds everything on top of everything. I think we're good going straight Aurora Beam. I'm worried about the juggler, but at this point, should we be worried about the juggler? We already had a million resets on Surge. It's really frustrating, guys. I, I can't, like, on top of that, you know, we have we have some people in the chat. I don't want to seem ungrateful. I'm, I'm happy everybody's here. I'm glad you're watching. Thanks for showing up and supporting me. But, God, the chat is pretty dead today. And when you feel like you're sitting here, like, you know, maybe every once in a while somebody will say one thing, but like, not very active today. I've been a little down about some of my views on my channel and stuff too, so it's just like, not to throw a pity party, not to say anything about that really, but like, I don't know. When this is a hobby, like, you know, when, when like you're doing stuff like this just as a hobby, like in your free time, you know what I mean? No, it's fine. It's fine, guys. You don't have to pop in and say, like, whatever. Like, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, when you do this kind of stuff as, as a hobby and you're not really getting the results that you like from it, sometimes it's just, like, easy to be like, what's the point? Because I could stop doing this right now and nothing would be different, you know? I'll get double edge at the end because I kind of fumbled that real quick. I need to not forget that, though. I gotta focus up. That's what I gotta do. Rachi's in my brain. 
yeah i mean it's easy to say you know keep pressing forward i get it but like at the same time it's like i have been doing this for years i mean what's gonna what's gonna change later you know what i'm saying like what's gonna change after the fact okay don't forget double edge because i didn't pick it up before Uh, this one's bare. This one's pretty good. The Raichu one, like I did, use a rare candy to get to level twenty-five for damage rounding, and it's not that bad. You do need a couple of things to go your way, but it's not eleven resets bad, is what I'm saying. Like I got really unlucky there, and it doesn't feel good. I'm fumbling my movements a little bit. I gotta just make it through these sections. I I can't talk while I'm going through these sections. Like too many of those mistakes and all of a sudden like if i get to the end of this run it's worse than the first run then it's really then you're really looking at it and you're saying what was the entire point i just i, I wasted like an hour and a half of my life for a worse run i'm gonna be playing i'm gonna play zelda for like a month i'm gonna wrap up i've been working on a backlog so i'm, I'm good on videos i'm about to just cut everything off and play Zelda for a while for content I mean this is like what like a thousand people are gonna watch the stream after the fact like you know they'd get the same enjoyment because I mean realistically analytics show that people are only gonna watch about 30 minutes of the stream regardless now you guys are good like people here fine like I, I appreciate it Greatly appreciate it. I'm just saying, like, just a couple of weeks ago, we were up to, like, 70. And it's no fault of you guys. Like, you're here. It's no fault of anybody. It's just how it is. Like, I'm not a big creator. And when you see, you know, losses and views and stuff like that, it's just like, why? Wow, like, what did I do wrong? Did I hit somebody's dad? I'm making a safe state because I almost didn't and I always mess this up. I really gotta focus here. I don't wanna get onto too many grievances about my channel. It's really just more frustration, I guess, than anything. Like, You, you know how it is. God, can I not just do a part perfect? One, two, three, four, five. We're out of the clamp section of the game at least. Yeah, I appreciate all the kind words. Unfortunately, I can't go too into detail about it because it would honestly, it would derail the entire run because I'd just be ranting and raving about stuff. I'd be more than happy to when we get done with the run. Uh, and I appreciate the support. I've been pushing through everything. Like just every once in a while you get a little burnt out. It's fine. Um, it is what it is. I'll look over at chat in a minute, but I really want to make this run good, you know. Yeah, we'll talk about it more. I'll probably talk about it in some videos coming up and all that kind of stuff too. But like, I plan on taking a nice, big, beefy break from most content creation for potentially months. You guys will still get to see videos and whatnot. Uh, because I, I make sure I don't just, you know how you've seen it before. Like, I guess the biggest channels, J Rose, like huge channels just four months i'm not gonna make anything for four months when i go on a break i'll at least make enough videos to cover that time so i don't have to worry about it
Uh, I see your question. Uh, unfortunately, I've made too many mistakes in the room. I'm trying to focus. I, I might pause it and look at it in a second, but you know. Yeah, I got a wedding and I'm going out of the country for two weeks and then I want to play Zelda. Yeah, well, I don't like to talk about J-Rose because every time I mention J-Rose, somebody gets on my ass about it. But, like, for me, it's like, how do you have time to do a month, a whole month of content every single day? But don't have the foresight to know that you take regular four month breaks and you could have just spread out that content to make it to where you actually don't miss any content drops. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating, especially as a fan of his videos, because I mean, like, realistically, it's why I started the channel, because I just enjoy uh, J Rose videos a lot. And I was like, I want to do that. It looks fun. I love Pokemon when I was a kid. So, yeah, it's frustrating as a you want content. And I guess something outside of the game, I guess you would say, um, not really a fault of his, but like he has spawned, like whether he likes it or not, he has spawned this little niche of people who do solo run content. He's inspired a lot of people to do it, but he's so inactive in the community, like outside of talking about my dry bread here and there, or it's like whatever, like he's never interacted with any other solo runner ever. And like, it's a bit frustrating because I feel like he has this huge sphere of influence. He's got this huge like opportunity and uh, this standing to where he could like really make this like something that could be real big. And I feel like he doesn't do anything like that. He's just constantly just taking like, you know, whatever. It's my wedding. You don't think he likes Scott? Why would you say that? I don't, as far as I know, they've never interacted. Ah, oh, thanks, man. I got engaged five months ago. I'll uh, I'll check these comments in a second. I'm on a roll here. What am I doing now? I'm gonna pause it. I finally talk it. I am traveling to Canada and I'm going to fight Scott, Madrabred, and J Rose all at the same time. They've never seen this kind of southern strength before. Okay. Oh, he's hinted at it. Uh I really am going to Canada, not for that reason though. I'm just gonna spend some time out in the country a little bit. Not the first time I've been up. I'm gonna go to Canada. I'm gonna spend some time in Alaska. Probably hang out in Washington for a bit. You know. Take some time off. Um, I need to see what I'm doing, but I also want to. No, I get that. That's why Deadpool, that's why I said that like, this isn't really a gripe with him because he's not like, he don't have to do that kind of stuff. I just feel like Maybe I would, and maybe he's got that opportunity. Over on Twitch. I would be interested to see that interaction because I've always thought about it. Like, j Rose just like, he spawned this genre of stuff and he's just not active in the community is all I'm saying. I think there's an opportunity there. And maybe that's just a little bit of frustration for me as a little channel who doesn't really get any help and like, you know, I'm just saying that it would, like, not even my channel, any channel. Imagine, like, a small, small channel. J Rose notices it and says something about it. Imagine how life-changing that would be for that channel. But he's un he's under no obligation to do that. You are exactly right. I'm just, I'm frustrated about the no uploads. I would love to see a J Rose video, like, I don't know, at least once a month. Uh, anyway, what am I doing? I'm getting derailed. Viewers are about to drop, and I'm about to get 18 comments about how I shouldn't talk about J Rose ever. Uh, let's see here. I followed the route pretty good up to this point. Uh, deposited items. I'm going down to the safari zone. Then I'm doing Coca's gym. We messed up there last time. Let's not mess up this time. I need a water break. Hang on. 
Damn, okay. Let's a go. We don't ever see Golem in this run, but something I highly suspect is that, uh, I'm using a palette wrong. I'm using like a, I don't know, Viridian palette. I'm using some palette in the wrong way right now. Uh, Cause I seen a Golem in a test I was doing and uh, the palette was messed up. But I think I, I can live with that because we'll never see Golem outside of doing a own Golem solo run. I gotta, I wanna keep the stream going, but I swear to God, I seen the word. Okay. Jay Hunt, you might be right. I don't think so. I just don't think he thinks about it. He's mentioned, well, he specifically said, like, as much as, you know, I talk about Jay Rose, I'm a huge fan why I started the channel. Watch all his stuff. Coughing video came out a couple weeks ago. Boom, I was on it instantly watching it. Um,. But no, he's talked about my dry bread because he said like, don't talk bad about him. Like we have different styles and there's no way that I'd ever want him to do bad because if he does good, I do good. Like if more people are watching solo run content, I get more views. So it helps me out. There's no reason for me to talk bad. But also with that mindset, what do you think? Like, hey, if I elevated, if I elevated the other people, then I get more views. I don't know. Uh, there's several Pokemon that no trainers specifically use. But they are found in the wild in certain versions. For example, Scyther. I think there's a quite a few. I think my play, it sound like the play that sound like the final note of a playlist. What do I want to play? Am I gonna go on I've been just real like like we're talking about all this stuff guys you know like I've just been in a real contemplative mood like thinking about this and that watching some of my videos not maybe do as good as I want and that's fine like you win some you lose some I can deal with that but I'm always thinking about like what can I do better like what am I gonna do to improve and I've just been like in a real like retrospective mindset to see like after I come back from break like what am I gonna do better? Electabuzz? Have I seen any good movies lately? Man, not really. I don't really go to the movie theater anymore. I like Blaine with his Arcanine being his ace. Maybe as a rematch Magmar would make more sense but you know. I, I don't know how I feel about Magmar after doing the randomizer because it's learn sets kind of just straight up garbage Excited for the Electabuzz run though Okay, so this is where we had a point of contention If the Kadabra hits me with a move... Yeah, that spells the end. We'll take the reset. Man, maybe this is a stream I need to do three times. I don't want to do it three times because like, sometimes I'm hopped up with the viewers. You know, sometimes we got 70 people in here and there's like a million people hopping me up and I'm like, yeah, we'll do another run. But I just don't know if I feel it today. So this one comes down, this is why probably Double Edge isn't great here, because it comes down to if Kadabra uses a move. He didn't, and we make it by. It makes that fight quicker, but it's risky. And to have a reset there doesn't feel great, but we've already kind of like dove deep into the depths by having 11 resets on Surge. I should have double edged here, but I did not. Man, he don't need any help in Pokemon Yellow. I'll make a save here and I'll just go for it. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, I don't think Blaine needs any help in Yellow version. 
We got the perfect setup as it is. Status inducing first Pokemon. Very fast, annoying, fire spin locking second Pokemon. Oh my god, I messed up again. I'm going to have to take a... This might be awful, guys. I might have to restart the run. I'm supposed to use five rare candies after that first juggler. And I forgot. And everything is planned out in such a way to where I need to level up at a certain time. Or I'm going to level up at bad times during fights. I just saved it in front of Koga. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my save state. I'm going to load my save state and wherever we're at. Okay, we're right here. This is okay. Okay, never mind. Not too bad. We're just we haven't been to the safari zone yet. Every once in a while, just in case something happens, I'll just hit a save state button. And luckily, I just I'm, I've been streaming so much that I just get used to it. So that's always a spot that I like to save state at. So I have to redo it all because I, I have this run planned out in such a way that not using the rare candies there really would mess me up i know trust me i know because i practiced it without the rare candies again because i messed up in the same exact way earlier and it really derails the entire run it doesn't feel near as good but we can be there and we could probably be back there in less than a minute it probably means well we will keep that reset i don't really care about the reset numbers streams are weird Maybe that's why we shouldn't penalize resets because streams are like their own beast. Like if I was playing off stream, I guarantee you I'd beat Surgeon without any resets. Like he wouldn't stand a chance. Like if I had three resets on Surgeon, it'd be a shock. This is why I personally think that real lifetime kind of sucks like if i don't spend eight hours on a route learning it perfectly and never messing up real lifetime's just useless like all it does is measure real lifetime measures how much you mess up not how much the pokemon messes up in my opinion in my humble opinion candies after this fight chat's moving let me check real quick no re no we're not you wanted to see surge again I would like to see Surge again, honestly. I think at the end of this, we're gonna have to use like a conglomerate of both runs. Why am I using the word conglomerate? We got double edge disabled. I guess the universe is trying to tell us something. I should not be using Surf here. Sometimes it's hard to tell on this kind of stuff. Nice to be here. Hey, I appreciate that, buddy. You might get to see some uh, ranting and raving, though. Same exact situation. I am going to take an... Oh, my God almighty. I... Guys, I forgot the same exact thing again. I forgot the same exact thing again. Yeah, if you do this for a living and you can just play Pokemon over and 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 get paid for it, sure. You know, practice your runs until you never mess up and it's fine. But for me, when I'm like, and I can sit down and do a few hours. I gotta do this. Honestly, guys, we're on the stream. We're all adults here, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's horse shit is what this is. I gotta redo that same stuff. Make a safe state after that. Jesus Christ. I even said it before. I think somebody joined in chat with a nice little message and I was like, oh, hey, nice to see you, buddy. And I'm not blaming it on you. I appreciate you being here, but that's the only, that's all I needed for that momentary lapse for me to completely forget everything I was supposed to be doing. That's why streaming's hard. It's not easy, guys. Try doing a run with just one person watching you behind your back or something and see how much more difficult it is. Why did I do that? Why would I even take the risk? Is 
There's something about it, you know, when you when you're on your third time doing the safari zone because you can't remember basic things that you've already written down in practice, you know, there's something magical about it. There's something magical about the safari. I think my playlist has ran out. We can move to something else. Let's switch to something that's going to get me copyright strike. Because that's my favorite. Okay. I'm going to change playlist. I think we're going to go back to an Animal Crossing. I'm going to turn it up. Maybe not obnoxiously loud, but we're just going to chill, guys. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to chill. Okay, for the love of God, you little rat, don't forget to use rare candies after this fight. This double-edged strategy is going to work. He disabled double edge again. You know what? No. No. Forget the double edge. Forget withdrawals. Forget everything. We're just going straight, sir. Crit. It wouldn't have worked out anyway. Don't use recover. Like, you're wasting my time. Double crit, though. That worked out okay. Okay, so there's no way you can forget this. Five rare candies. Use them all. Five rare candies. Use them all. Level 40. Damage rounding threshold. Everything's fine. No need to panic. Yeah, it's really hard to remember. Like routes are so different, and then you I get started ranting and raving about whatever stuff. Okay. Can I rant about that for a second? The fact that that uh, drowsy survived? Let me see. What do you guys think? Okay. To knock out that drowsy in one hit, guys. What do you think the percentage of it was? Because, spoiler alert, it's really, really, really high. And the fact that he survived just kind of tells you everything that you need to know. You're pretty close, Peter. It was 83%. It was 83% to knock it out. The coughing survived. Anybody want to take a glean at well, that, that, the percent of that? This is not my run. Uh, God help me. And I didn't get the two shot on the wheezing. Yes, yeah, 69, 420%, brother. Ha ha ha. I wouldn't say deceptively. If you do a few runs of these, like, yeah, they're pretty bulky Pokemon. Move, bitch. Uh, we actually have a Muck run coming out Sunday. Hoping it gets more than Obstagoon's views. But at this point, Jesus take the wheel. I got one more video to finish up and we can just not worry about it. Stop looking at yourself. Okay. I probably should be not doing stuff in this order. That was perfect repel usage right there and you normally don't see it work out that good. This feels like a first run to me. Like it's so janky. But if I can save any time, it's just by being clean on the movements. This is weird. I didn't really want to do this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and, and anchor myself at Vermilion, and it really doesn't matter at the moment. What do you mean evolution runs? Like starting with a lower stage Pokemon and evolving?
Uh, I don't think it's a good measure of how good that Pokemon is. It's a good measure... I think a better name for the videos would be like, let's say you're doing Lantern. Um, I can't even remember the first. Chin Chow. The better name for the video would be how fast can Chin Chow beat the game? Like what you're starting with. Honestly, I don't care. Yeah, like, I don't think it's a good name necessarily. It's not indicative. Like if you're doing like, am I gonna lose here? Oh, I'm doing the spot wrong. I'm doing the fight wrong the whole I didn't reset, so it didn't matter, but I'm doing the fight wrong. Let me look over in a second and I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date. I'm gonna go ahead and heal here again. We're rapidly approaching the end game, but I just feel like I'm just losing just a little bit of time. Yeah, you know what I mean, guys? Like, it's not like... What's a good example? Ursa Ring Solo Run. But it's not an Ursa Ring Solo Run because you spend, like, half the game, the hardest parts of the game, as something else. So it's not really indicative of what an Ursa Ring can do. It's more about the evolution line. And I guess you would name it that for the views and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, the more better sense name would be, like... How fast can Teddy Ursa beat the game? Because that's what you're starting with, and that's what the focal point of the run's basically gonna be. I don't know. Makes sense, maybe. I don't know. That's just my feelings on it. Could care less, really. You can he can name it how fast could you beat Mewtwo and then play a Pidgey for all I care. I don't really care what other people name their shit. Yeah. Like a lot of especially bad Pokemon, like if you're saying I'm doing a Ferretris run or a Macargo run, like no, buddy, you're doing a you're doing a Slugma and a Panko run. You just want to name it something different because it gets more views because it's an evolved Pokemon. But that's beside the point. I do, honestly do not care what other people. They could say they could name their stuff like World First Seal Run. It'll knock your dick off, and you'll you know I don't know. They could name it anything they want. I I could care less. Whatever works for them. I missed a blizzard. I'm not happy about that. It makes the rest of the spot a little tight, to say the least. Yeah, if you name the Pidgey Mewtwo, you're technically not lying. Very true. Uh, we pick up the Hyper Potion for a reason, brothers and sisters. Probably one girl. I think 99.5% of my audience is male, so what's the point of even saying that? No, Scott did it way before Squidgy. And Scott actually... Scott came to the same conclusion that I did a long time ago to where there's no point in doing the other Pokemon. So he's starting to do all his runs with the full stage Pokemon. Because it doesn't feel like that Pokemon. Like, there's no... There's no correlation... I don't know. Some of these are Space World Sprites. I'm using Yellow Palette with Space World Sprites. Made it myself. Some people don't make their own ROMs. Why, do I, why did I even say that? Some people do. I do. That's the point. Uh... Uh, it was a mistake to go to Viridian here. It can save us some time in a minute, but overall I'm not... You know what? This is, I'm having deja vu because I've been in the same situation before where I was like, man, this run's not going good and it turns out to be the best run I've had. Well, no, I mean, there is no correct way to go, I don't think, you know? It's just... I don't know. Almost like trend chasing, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to say it. And it's fine. And I'm really not. I'm gonna reset here. Did I just make a set? Please, God, I can't. Oh, where am I at? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry guys, that's, a, that's the third time in this run that I've had to reset for a massive time loss for like a mistake I made. 
and I ended up not safe stating for a while. So we're going to have to redo it quite a bit. I, I apologize for that. I'm not going to say it's clout chasing. I don't have a problem with any other content creator. You do what you got to do to get views. I mean, whether it be Scott shouting you out a lot, like whatever you got to do, like I'm, I don't have a problem with it. It is what it is. I worry about myself. Uh, I think you actually got to withdraw. Is that a turn one burn? That's how you do the fight, by the way. So kind of good. I get to redo the fight like that. I hate that I dug out to Vermilion here. It might save us some time later, but it's a little bit early. I think the market's so saturated for playing the new games that there'd be absolutely no point. You're never going to stick out of the crowd playing the new games. hate that I've lost track of my save states multiple times and messed up on multiple situations so many times. This runs a little bit janky. Sometimes I wonder, every once in a while somebody will comment, why am I here? Did I do that yet? I gotta, I'm losing, I'm losing all concept of space and time right now. Yeah, I feel sorry for people watching the VODs of this after the fact because like sometimes I wonder what they think because you know uh, Looking forward to them or not. What does that mean Deadpool? I can't say I'm 100% following See we use save states to stop us from having disaster moments that would just ruin the run and we tried to, like there, I gotta make a safe state because I accidentally walked too far. Jesus Christ, how many more mistakes can I make? If this run's still good somehow, I missed a blizzard. If the run's still good somehow, then God how. Oh, I mean, in terms of like, like viewership and stuff like that, like it's really not, you really can't talk about it like too much because I mean as a solo running community nobody gets good views like Scott gets okay views but like at the end of the day if you're just talking about like at YouTube in general no Scott's a very small channel in the grand scheme of things and like if you look at channels like mine Squidgy or whatever the case may be we're like we're little pebbles in the ocean like we're nothing like you know do I play randomizer sometimes? I guess you can say I do. I played one. I played one and I don't know when I'll play the next. What am I doing? Randomizers don't have enough like skill and planning in them enough for me to really enjoy playing them a lot. They're fun to do every once in a while, but they're just, it's just luck. Now, what do I want to do here? I think the play would be just use a potion, dig out and go straight to Sabrina to try to make up some time. No, I, I'll tell you right now, brother, you're never ever gonna see me play Gen 6 or 7. It'll be, you guys will be very lucky if I, if I care enough to ever go to Gen 3. I'm happy where I'm at, where I'm learning, learning a whole entire game. Not only learning an entire game, but learning it well and then learning. No, they just take too long. They take too long to play. I don't have. God, how much time do you guys think I have to play games? Not a lot. Like, I really like I, I can't like I do three runs usually for a Pokemon when I'm playing. Don't survive. This is what cost me last time. We might reset because I'm just not. 
Yeah, I reset there. Hopped off. Well, I'm about to hop on when I get done with this little shitty run. A little shitty run with eight times the resets. Okay, let's just do this. One, two. We set up now. We blizz him. I think we should outspeed the Alakazam. And there we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'm not doing it right because I'm not looking at my notes anymore because uh, my give a fuck has ran out a little bit ago. <laughs> Josh, I'd like to hear you say that, but unfortunately those videos have not been getting views. They've been getting significantly lower views, so... I don't really know what the future holds for those. I have some planned and ready to go for you guys, but like there's probably going to be a significant, unless like the next batch I come out with get like better views. Like there's just no point. They take so much more effort to make uh, than regular runs. And when the viewers like, when you get like a third of the views as a regular video, then it's just like really like I'm doing three times the work, but getting a third of the satisfaction out of it. So. Glad you enjoy them, but they have not been enjoyed as a whole here lately. It's pretty frustrating. It's where a lot of my grievances come from because it's like, I don't know. What do you do? Oh, I got to battle this guy. I played Radical Red. It's infamous for being just difficult for the sake of being difficult. I can't really speak to it because I didn't really dive that deep into it, but it's okay. Oh, I don't outspeed the Doug Trio there, and I thought about adding in a withdrawal just to outspeed. I mean, I like continuous playing. Like, I don't, to be honest, at this point, I don't even care to do full team battles at all. Like, so. Oh, I almost forgot something, guys. I almost forgot this again. Yeah, unfairly difficult. It's not good game design. And I guess if you ever thought in your life that some random person making a Pokemon ROM knew a lot about game design, then you're probably searching for the wrong in the wrong areas. But it's okay. I guess their main draw is they added in the Pokemon, but I can't say I fully get it. Yeah, I just like to play just the same game over and over, I guess. Like I like to rank Pokemon. That's how that, that gives me fun. Uh we fully set up here just to make the Gyarados a one-shot range so we don't have to you know waste our time with it. I accidentally used a blizzard, but I think I have enough just to be fine. little situation where double edge comes into play mainly the champion fight double edge is pretty much only for the champion fight the rest of the run would be better without double edge i am going to get off my bike because i know i'll jump over that ledge uh, i need to use all my rare candies when i go in here and use my repel It's the Pokemon Green Sprite. I did not make a single Sprite in this ROM. They're all official Game Freak related stuff. Okay, we got Spot Cannon coming up here. This would be an excellent point for a save state in case something goes bad. Hey brother, how you doing? Yeah, it's just a Pokemon Green Sprite. It's been a while since I streamed this long and Jesus Christ, my voice is killing me. I probably should have used a repel there to save a little bit of time, but... 
at this point, who cares? Some of the green sprouts are good. I'd say over half of them are worse than any other version. What did he lose his voice for doing one video every two months? <laughs> Golbat. Golbat has consistently had good. I'd actually like to get a few growls here. We'll take what we can get. Since we have two growls, our attack's garbage, so we cannot use double edge in this fight. But it doesn't matter. Is that a bad thing or a good thing, Marcus? I'll say that like I don't feel I don't feel the most comfortable. Why am I paralyzed and confused? I like to hear you guys' thoughts on stuff for sure, but like sometimes I don't feel the most comfortable talking about other creators. Especially if it's in a negative light. Like it is what it is. Uh this will be a little close. I'll be honest with you, off the top of my head, I cannot remember a single catchphrase that Van Man's ever used. <laughs> I'm trying to think about it. I mean, granted, I don't really watch his content a whole lot, but he doesn't strike me as much of a catchphrase guy. What's the lore? What do I look like? Fucking safari like leader. I got put to sleep here. I probably should just go ahead and reset. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm gonna be honest with you, Max Punch. I don't watch many solo runs that much these days. I'm a little burnt out in the community as a whole, and I would rather spend my uh, free time watching other stuff. I watch a lot of random. Uh, <laughs> Bam, <dude. laughs> I watch a lot of Resident Evil randomizers. Uh, other stuff like that like I don't necessarily care to it's like I do it too so it's like I don't get a, I don't get as much enjoyment out of it I'll catch a J Rose video mostly if he'll post it this is gonna be close by the way um I'll, I'll catch my boy hidden Jim if he releases a video like he did last night how did he survive how did our box survive a blizzard Okay, so we got two resets here. I mean, I used to watch everybody's um, content, you know? But like, after you do it for a while, and especially when you're like me, where you're like, you're really grinding, you're grinding because you got a lot of stuff coming up and you need a backlog, and I'm just playing Pokemon, playing Pokemon, playing Pokemon, making videos, making videos, doing streams. Like, the last thing I wanna do when I have free time is to be like, oh, let me watch this person's that I don't even really interact with this video, you know? So there's a few people that I'll watch some stuff. Yeah, Max Punch, that's it. He's gonna be the next big one, I think. He's the only one that's like really kind of original. Why is this, why is this fight giving me the most trouble? Hang on. I wanna reset one more time. Let me try a different strat. Maybe I tried a different strat. I'm just like going through the motions here. I'm not paying attention. I think we go one 
One withdrawal YOLO. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of my strats in the sauce. I think, God, I don't know what I want to do with the cloister run. Double surf, I guess, is going to be the play here. And then we're so healthy that the last Gengar is so weak and pathetic that it could never beat us. How the badge, I don't know. People probably tested the game, but hey, I'm doing more damage when I do this. It's like, how did anything get discovered in any game, you know? Uh, we're no set up in this one again. Absolutely hate that he survived that, but what can you do? He's a little sucker. I missed one blizzard. Man, we're we're cutting this one close. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm I'm restarting. I forgot to do something crucial. I need to actually set up on the PGI. I'm just sitting here going I'm just sitting here in my mind I'm saying yes, it's finally over, but I actually need to do stuff in this fight we need to set up three times uh oh eh, I mean you gotta get your you gotta get your catchphrases where you can I guess I'm a little low dragon rages scare me a little bit here from the Gyarados Oh, frozen solid. Perfect. What's up, man? You're literally at the last second. You got about five minutes to say your piece, and then we're out of here. Yeah, much faster run. Uh, 222. Lots of resets. I'll decide what I want to do with that. But... This one was really good. The 15 resets, I don't know about. First run's ob uh, objectively better, but it's three minutes slower. I got really unlucky with this. I don't know what to do about that. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, It puts Cloyster at number six, I think, right now. I'm not ready to officially. You'll see a little bit of the tier list in the next video. I really want to get up to about 50 runs before we start showing it, like I make a video on it. I'm hesitant to make a video like on anything that's not a solo run I'm hesitant to make a video on because it will just bomb and just kill my algorithm like obstacle is about to do for three weeks yeah cloister is a top six Pokemon right now the resets guys don't worry about the resets I got really unlucky on lieutenant surge he crit me like four times in a row anytime I could have won I would miss a clamp or it would only last two turns and I had 11 total resets on surge so if you want to know anything in the first run, we um we only had one reset on Surge. So I got really, really, really unlucky. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how to handle that. Like, it is what it is. I don't feel good with Cloyster being at 15 resets. Um, Why are people leaving? I'm wondering. There's some people that just came in here. Would you guys be interested in a third Cloyster run? I'm going... You guys are going to say yes. Let me hang on. I'll make a poll just because. God, my voice is killing me, though. I'm not happy with this. I think we can get 221. Well, Papa Bona, I gotta play Zelda, but I also gotta do a little bit of work tonight, too. Well, Blotiful, I'm a... I'm also a smoker. 
probably don't hear that much from the Pokemon community, so my throat gets a little hoarse when I talk for a while. <clears throat> a lot of mess ups in there. Okay, this will be our second ever. I'm not happy with the, you know, we not the most successful stream I've ever done, but it'll be the second ever three resets. I'm drinking water right now. I got a huge yellow jug I'd fill up multiple times a day. All right, guys, I got to go take care of some business for a second while I prepare myself. I guess that's run number three. Just if somebody comes into the chat, tell them it's run number three. I never in my wildest dreams suspected that we'll do a run number three. Work can wait. I got to do a little work later and I got to play Zelda. It can wait. We're fine. Um, So let's reset the reset i'll be back for a minute don't you go anywhere because we're about to have the most immaculate perfect clamp luck one shot lieutenant surge sub 220 time cloister run you've ever seen in your entire life
All right. We're back. Let's see how much deeper we can delve. I'm so confident right now in this run that we're putting the resets on single digits. I'd be very happy with that run if I didn't have 15 resets. Okay. We have about 30 minutes left on the playlist and we can go back to the other one. Uh, and I guess, uh, we hopping in. Going straight for it. I'd be okay with like five resets. I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not happy with 15 resets. It's not indicative of what I practiced. Yep, highest base defense in the entire game, brother. Keep it slow. I'm thinking about not using clamp as much, but for the Raichu, you, you absolutely have to, I think. Like, sure, you could rely on just dumb luck, but I think clamp's the only reliable way, and it really wasn't reliable at all last run. God, two back-to-back -back encounters on different... That's not good. We do it for the people. It might be a smaller stream today, but it's when your most loyal show up. You know what I'm saying? And I think if we spin a positive on it, we talk about my frustrations and all this kind of stuff. You kind of see where you're at when you do bad, I guess. You know what I mean? It tells you where you're truly at. That's a lot of encounters. Uh, it's it's from Space World. I'm using some Space World sprites. It was a demo Game Freak released between Gen 1 and Gen 2. I don't have them all implemented just yet. I tried, but they're a little eh. Three hit clamp. Okay. I missed the clamp and that's enough for me just to stop. Hey, big love from me, too. This run is going to be about the power of positive energy. God, I didn't get the two shot and I got poisoned. That is unfortunate. I have to bait it just not even healing the poison is going straight to Brock. But even with mistakes, we've seen that the last run could be better. We'll know right here. If I don't miss any clamps, I'm feeling I'm feeling amped. Okay, that's one clamp miss. I hate clamp. It's such a weird move. It's such it got such potential to be like the absolute strongest move in the entire game. And then after that, it's just like, okay, I guess I'll miss every single time. I think I know the route pretty good by now, so I, I get a lot faster when we don't have to mull over the strategy I got going on. I'm a little bit hurt. A nice three hit clamp, a couple of three hit clamps not missing would really mean a lot to me. Yeah, it's still a work in progress. I didn't have a chance to completely finish it, but uh, soon. It is. If it was any more accurate, it would be the strongest move in the entire game.
Uh, that's you're thinking of spot cannon. I might cut out some of the mid game reliance on clamp. I still have to do it for surge. Uh, like always guys, we're going to make a safe state and we're going to catch a flyer on the first attempt. I do have master balls for the stream. Uh, just to make it less tedious of a process. And unfortunately I do have to heal here, but I did come up. I'm going to do something else on the fly here. I'm going to battle a different trainer than last time an extra trainer. Cause I wonder if that's the route. I wonder if I was too blinded by looking at numbers from the first, uh, when I was doing my initial testing. Geodudes will be great. If you don't have a 70% accuracy, it might as well be 20% accuracy. I will knock out Zubat still. I shouldn't need as much. As long as they're one shots, I'm not bad. I'd really like to go for Clamp here. Four hits, exactly what I want to see. Oh yeah, if the AI is using it, there's zero chance it's ever going to miss. I've never seen, God, in the, the Rydon video, I've never seen a move do more damage than Clamp. I want to battle an extra trainer, but I don't know who I want it to be. No, I need to trust in the process. No extra trainer. We have already added one in. We need to just go the way it was going. Our time was already great. We just have, without the Lieutenant Surge split being as bad as it was, that would have been the end and that would have been a great run. I just don't need to forget to use rare candies. I need to make often safe states in the mid game because I will forget simple shit. Geodude's good, level seven, not too good. Uh, I figured out a bug in my code. Anybody wondering? Uh, a long time ago in the Clefairy run, we used Water Gun. Um, why did I use Water Gun here? Um, on the on a Clefairy or a Geo Dude when the Clefairy run, it didn't knock it out, and I figured out why. Very uninteresting, but hey, I figured it out. Level twelve Zubat, I can't pass that up. Jesus Christ, I've never in my entire life seen more encounters than this. Look at this. I got Zubats hanging off my ball sack. I'm running out of PP. Like I can't, I can't keep knocking them out all day. At some point, it's gotta give. We need to be level 16, about 640 EXP. I think as long as we go Aurora Beam into Water Gun, we're fine. Uh, Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're over good. So as long as we get no encounters here, I have set it up to where there's pretty much a guaranteed Sandshrew encounter right here to eliminate some of the RNG in my runs. If you don't like that, then get a grip. We're using that nice blue palette that hurts my eyes. No saving. We'll save a Misty, not here. Saving takes time, and we're trying to beat the game the fastest. We'll make strategic saves when it's warranted. Every once in a while, make a little backup save state. Just in case the worst case scenario happens. Yeah, you gotta preserve. Well, that's just how it is in yellow version. It's super harsh, but we're using the uh, yellow palette. I finally figured out how to do that. I did not use... I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I might have a reset here. I played this fight wrong. Yeah. That's fine. I'm not too worried about like one reset. 
kind of am kind of bothers me but especially when we've done the run three times and i forget the basic strategies like you're supposed to set up some withdrawals here to lower it to one damage tackles maybe aurora beam for the attack drop would be more feasible Yeah. See, that's all it took. That reset, likely, if I was a real stickler about it, I would just restart the entire run because I, I literally just messed up what I was supposed to do. And that's really frustrating when that happens. But thank God we're not on, like, real lifetime runs. Starmie is a very overrated star, in my opinion. Like, God, before I did the run, I did the stream run and stuff. Like, so many people are just like, it's the best run ever. But it's really not. It only gets Water Gun to start out. Like water Gun and Harden, and it's just not very good of a Pokemon. It's good, but it's not, like, top tier. I accidentally... Oh, my God. Uh, the original name for the Sprout was Gastly's Dad. I mean, it's, it's a pearl inside of a clam. I mean... No need to really overthink it, I guess. If we can just get through, hit some ranges on this fight. Ah, oh my god. Really frustrating when stuff survives because, like, you know, you can't get. Why is my dog barking? I don't know if you guys can hear that. I hope not. Some say every little degenerate says it's supposed to be something else. I'm gonna think it up in a second. My dog's going crazy and I don't know why. Kind of worrying. I'm gonna get done with this trainer and I'm gonna pause it. I had a um I had a snake in my house the other day and uh I'm worried. I'll be right back. I got my mic set professionally so you can't hear outside noises. Alright, one second. It was the FedEx guy. All right, I got to battle the Onyx trainer here. That's the only little optional thing I need to do. There's no way he's knocking at the door. I'm not going back in there. Fuck you. Fuck you, FedEx guy. I should probably swap Aurora Beam up top. Oh, it was like from the movie Anaconda. It's literally that. Don't worry. Your boy handled it. I got it out of the house. It's 
swept him up. I swept him in the rug, like a rug. Man, Ozzy's just really barky. Lay down. We make a save here. I mean, it does. Like, there's only like 70 trainers in the game or whatever, mandatory trainers, and they have like 12 or 13 up there or something. I don't want to yell at my dog. Not yell at him, but tell him to stop. Because it doesn't do any good. He hears stop, he keep going. Yeah, back to the Nugget Bridge thing, like if there's anything you can do in your runs, like if anybody ever thought it was a good idea to be like, let's do Nugget Br uh, Bridge as a, while we're a little bit weaker. It's going to cost you that that alone. Like if let's say we did Nugget Bridge before we did Misty without Bubble Beam, it would probably cost us three, four, five minutes of in-game time. Just that little thing alone. It's a very, it's a very big time loss. That was a much cleaner than the last time. We get to see that beautiful Growlithe Sprite again. Uh, I have a, I have a York, <laughs> I have a Yorkie. Just a little Yorkie. Very old Yorkie. All right, guys, we got to use a rare candy after this fight. And then we're back to the big problem of the last run, which was Surge. We had a lot of resets there. We already have one reset. I'm not happy about that, but we can survive one reset. If I have less than five resets, I'm good. I just know that this is the only part of the game where it's going to matter a lot. Like, it's the, it's the only part of the game that's not overly consistent. Level 25, damage rounding threshold. Perfect. We battled that Onyx Trainer. Did that extra grinding in Mount Moon just so we can hit that point. This is all that I can do to not... Waste a ton of time just to get past this battle. I guess you could backtrack to Surge uh, after Celadon, but I don't want to do that. Oh, Jesus, please. Bless me today. We need like a four turn clamp. No Sonic Boom. We can one shot the Raichu, it doesn't, or Pikachu, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's one. You see, Surge in red and blue has good AI. If you're weak to Surge, it's a tough fight. I don't think that's true at all. I think its defense is so high that it just doesn't matter. Oh, please, it's happening again. Oh, good, good thing. Yeah. I don't want to have to come back to this run like on a later date. Whatever we get here, we're gonna. I'm gonna look at the three runs and I'm gonna pick and choose like what I like the best. But this is not. Nothing's cooperating on this spot. It's so bad. Like Thunderbolt crit, like what do you do? It's happening. It's repeating, it's repeating itself.
Oh, a Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom almost guarantees our reset. No. Okay, we're at five resets. I'll take that. You see, it doesn't take too much for this fight to go right. I'm very happy it's like two times better than last time. Oh, my Rapidash. Lovely, strong. Kiss it. Hug it on a warm night. Uh, his rapid dash is level three. Uh, when I came back to it, when I started playing again a couple of years ago, it'd been quite a while for me personally. That's why it's so fun to get back into it. There we go. Finally, on the third run, the Venonat finally survived the range there. Like, I thought I'd have to use Clamp on it the first run, but we started not to do it. Make a save here. You always gotta make a save. I'm gonna just reload that. I messed up. All my damage sprites are pretty good. What are you talking about? How long do you think it's gonna be before other runs start to do a damage sprite? They're going to do a cross-gen run with damage sprites and then not give me any kind of boost from it. It's such a good idea. We're nearing the point to where clamp is no longer useful. We use it on the slow pokes just because clamp like, I can't stress this enough, guys. Clamp does absurd damage if it hits. Even just a two hit, it's really good. If you just get a three hit, which is a pretty likely scenario, it's stronger than like a stab surf. And if you hit four times, it's crazy. And if you hit five times, it's stronger than like hyper beam. So, yeah, it's hard to state just how absurdly powerful clamp can be. But then when you combine the 70% accuracy, all of a sudden it becomes one of the most frustrating moves because it's like, come on, dude. Like you could be one of the strongest moves in the game. You could be like a real benefit. Like you could be an actual alternative to surf if you just had like 90% accuracy or something like that. Uh, Oddish and a Pidgey, so Aurora Beam is the way to go if you're just spamming buttons like I'm doing. And we're about to get Ice Beam, so you want Aurora Beam to be at the top spot so you can just instantly learn it. Uh, my playlist just ran out, so let me fight this Goralith and pause it. Yeah, I'm 90% is not the best, but as strong as the move is and the upsides that it has, like it would be worth it because you're. It's a signature move for Cloister, so only this run and Shelter would use it, you know? So Don't make fun of Growlithe. He's doing his best. I uh, probably should have got on the bike, but by the time I took a few steps, there's no point. This will be the last time that I could potentially use Clamp, and I don't even know if I want to use it here because we've already relied on it too much. Now I'm worried about the Agatha fight, guys. Like, it didn't give me any trouble in practice. Sure you did. I had a I had a Nintendo official Nintendo Power guide that gave all that information. Back in the fifth grade, I was in the fifth grade. P 
picking up how many items we're gonna do our sale on buy right after this so we're just trying to be as strong as possible this is a clamp situation but I don't want to do it oh yeah the Sugimori drawings are top tier every once in a while you'll see one for a, a modern I don't remember he still got some of them but they're just more modernized and I can't say they're they're not they're, they're not bad at all but I really do like the Sugimori uh, designs the the way he does the the whites and stuff like that like it's just very unique style it doesn't translate to something like a good thumbnail though but like or I'd be using them for every thumbnail but I like them in general the two kind of washed out to like pop on a thumbnail um, I think I need to use clamp on this Arbok. I think that'd be the last time I use it. It surprises me that Arbok can survive a, a blizzard in the end game. But I think when I finally went through Agatha the last time, I just did like the, the right strat, which is a YOLO strat, where you just set up once and just go for it. Because you just can't, you simply just can't set up on the, um, the Golbat or the Gengar. It's too inconsistent, and I had a couple of resets last time just to show that. Uh, Clamp's pretty decent here, but Kangaskhan, it'd be a two-shot regardless. And if I missed, it would feel really bad. It's not a situation where you need Clamp. Now, I'm just kind of worried about that Juggler. I will go ahead and heal here. We are doing Celadon by... I, I made a save state right there just because I always mess this up. Hopefully I don't this time. I have 20 items in my bag. And I'm not sure why. I think it was the potions. Moved, God. S about to slap a bitch. Did I buy that fresh water? Ah. One, two, three, four, five. I beam easy enough now. Just find double edge as fast as possible. All right, we're set up. No more moves except for Blizzard. I'll look in a second, but I'm kind of like in this zone right now. Oh man, you should never get on your bike right there because it's such a tiny walk. Those are just kind of the small things that's going to be going through my mind as I just make little dumb mistakes like that. Uh, I think they're, you know, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure about the sprouts. I know the sprouts were redone in something like yellow version because they weren't originally based off the anime. I think Sugimori art's based off of official designs, but the in-game sprouts are based off of something different. You know, I, I named Scyther or Scizor clamps in that video, and it's kind of crazy how many, how few people knew about Super or Futurama. Like, man, I feel bad when I'm making Aqua Teen Hunger Force reference, Simpsons reference, Futurama references, and people are like, what? It's an official sprite, brother. It's a, it's a, uh, what do you call it? Space World sprite. I think it's unique and different enough to warrant seeing, at least. Oh, barely survived. Not great. I don't think Needle King's that good. It looks just like a, a Gen 1 Sprite to me. Like, it's all bunched up and not great. I don't think it looks bad. I mean, I... 
as somebody who plays this a lot, like I don't think most of the Gen 1 sprites are that bad. Uh, just to be safe, I should do that. I mean, Nidal King's a ho very presumptuous that we're friends. <laughs> yeah, the uh, uh, green sprites are really jank. That's why we got the. I don't know if you've seen this or not. We got the green version Venusaur in. I'm sure you probably saw it at the end, but. Well, that's just regular cadaver sprite, but I mean, I, I don't like his straight mustache. It looks weird to me. Uh, j enough ice beams just to go straight beam here. And I think we're going straight to Erica. And then I just don't need to forget the rare candies this run. Really what it comes down to at the end of the day. Okay, I'm going to deep. I want to heal, deposit three items. And we're doing a quick little new time save I'm working on. Is where you hold off on this PP up. Grab it and you can just go straight down to get faster access to Erica's gym. It would be faster if I wasn't a complete idiot going into the wrong menus, but here we are. about to get hot I mean they're probably gonna get hot everywhere it's called summertime brother <laughs> you're about to get this mythical this crazy hot spread for about three months Yeah, I love the Venusaur green sprite. It's why I put it in, because I just think it's so different. Okay, this is where I kept messing up last time. Like, it literally does look like it's sick and dying. Yeah, I agree with that. I can't say like sick is in like oh cool sick sprite bro but it does look like it's literally sick and dying but I do like it a lot I've thought about this PP up but I've been so good at picking it up I don't even know why I mention it anymore that old toga kit oh yeah the hitmonchan toga kiss thing's funny it's only funny because it's so true the do do it not toga kiss is it a toga kiss? Yeah, yeah, toga kiss. The Hitmonchan sprout looks like a toga kiss behind a doduo. Yeah. It really does look just like it. Let's be clean here. We got Koga coming up next, and I'm worried about that jugular, jug, <laughs> the juggler going for the jugular, I guess I'll say. I'll go ahead and I'll learn these. I'll hold off on the other one. Yeah, Uncle Koga's up next. I'm not worried about Koga, it's about the fact of remembering what I'm supposed to do here because I kept forgetting last run. I made a safe state and a save, so I can't forget. So this one's a point of contention here. I think straight ice beam's just a play. You could go a couple of withdrawals and go straight double edge for the one shots, but you are outsped by Kadabra. And if it goes for a move, you can and likely will have a reset here. And I think slowing the battle down just a little bit to save a reset, especially when we had a bad, you know, Raichu time. And this is the main thing right here. Rare candies. Use all of them. All five of them. Probably use a potion too. 
Don't take any chances. I still bring up Uncle Koga. I don't remember what's like the continuity of my runs anymore because I've been having to get ahead so far in my runs because I'm, you know, going to be busy in the summer. I don't remember what, sometimes I don't remember what people seen and what they haven't seen yet. Or like what's out and what's not out. Oh. It's actually a mistake to move surf up there and I need to instantly correct that. The bag number on the bottom right is the number of items in my bag. <laughs> you can only hold 20 items, a grand total of 20 items in this. I'm not healing my poison last time just for the sake of making the stream a little better to watch I healed poison just so it's not ticking on the stream, but this point I only care about the speed Yeah, so when you get the 20 You're done like you have to go to the PC or throw away an item or something like that And I got everything planned out To the point to where I don't want to have to do that so I'll use a repel here, but like right here, I can dump some items because I need to learn Blizzard. I got three PP ups. I'm probably going to faint. Oh man. Okay. I'm going to use a potion because if I faint here, I think it's going to count my second Pokemon and I'm going to get encounters and I don't want to get encounters. And then Blaine shouldn't be an issue now because I was doing it wrong. I had a couple of resets this stream already, but I was just doing it wrong. Like I had a game plan that was like almost 100% consistent. Oh, if it was 50, you would never have to throw anything away. It's a very small Gen 1 limit. Like if you're not well versed with the games and you first start playing, one of the first things you're going to start noticing is like, man, I can't hold anything. This makes playing the randomizers that like I did yesterday on stream, it makes the randomizers specifically tedious because you're constantly going back and forth. Uh, getting rid of items, putting stuff in your PC, selling stuff. I'm almost confident enough not to save. Yeah, but you literally just... I didn't mean to double-edge. God, what's wrong with me? I might lose the spot because I did that. No. Yeah. Outspeeding those Pokemon are just really what you want to see. Okay, guys, and if you want to heal in Saffron, you want to anchor yourself here before Silphco. As soon as that color palette changes, boom, you can fly instantly. Yeah, a little tombstone. My voice is a little hurting right now, so I can't do it three times in one stream. So far, we're really clean right now. I don't want to jinx myself. We don't have too much more to go. But we're clean. Okay, I saved that Carbos from earlier. So that I could use it now in the same menu. Save a little time. Very basic tip. There was a... I don't want to bitch about something dumb. But like, there was a Scott video from a while ago where he's like... Credits Van Man for doing something like that. And it's like, bro, that's just common sense. Not too much further. Fairly confident about this one, but we did get a little low. I don't remember why we got low last time, but I do know that my bags are full and I'm pissed off about it. Why are my bags full? I 
think I got to reset. I did this spot wrong. Hang on. No, I didn't. I still, I'm still going to reset because I was just sitting here with the time running. I haven't looked at my walkthrough, my notes, uh, the whole time. And I was sitting here wondering, I was like, am I making a mistake here? But no, there is no setup in this fight. It really comes down to like, if you miss a blizzard on the Gyarados and he uses like maybe back to back dragon rages, but a leer for the badge boost is really helpful. So probably got this one in the bag, especially now that we outspeed the Alakazam. Be a green Venusaur looking sick brother I will not forget Lapras strength this time because I forgot last run and it was a really good run but I still forgot that some playthroughs do some people are some runs are a little more tedious than others no doubt about that some some things are a little bit more grating to listen to or you got to pay a little bit more attention to it but I watch Resident Evil old school Resident Evil randomizers that's my go-to these days. Hey, th th that Venusaur thinks he's getting off a Razor Leaf at some point in his life, but I said no. I routed perfectly to make sure he never gets off. Unless I miss a uh, Blizzard, it will never see the light of day. I'm gonna heal. I think I had a reset on Sabrina last time, which is crazy. She's really not that good of a fight. Like, that hard of a fight in this run. I think it was because I couldn't one-shot the Venomoth. I have. I have essentially 100%ed it. Yeah. I played it a lot. Uh, disabled Double Edge, but I crit there, so that's pretty fortunate. And I do think I want to go Blizzard here, just because I don't, I don't know the ranges perfectly but I do have to go double surf because double edge is disabled but nonetheless it's a pretty simple fight I think to save even more time I'm not going to use the center I forgot strength I forgot strength it's not too late to pick it up without losing time so I remembered Luckily, I might adjust my gray on the palette right there. I changed the gray sprite, the gray mon palette to a little bit darker gray. It really shows up bad on like the Machoke and stuff, but I think the original in, in Pokemon Red and Blue, it's like almost purple. It looks awful. And in Pokemon Yellow, it looks almost brown. So I changed it. Uh, the RE2, uh, original RE2 is one of my favorite games of all time. The remake did it a lot of justice. It was really good. RE4 remake was really good too. It's a shame about Resident Evil 3, but just like the original game, it was kind of a rushed out, quick piece of garbage. You know what? I retract that. I don't want to say it's a piece of garbage because I did play it a good bit. It was just, it left a lot to be desired and it was nowhere near the level of quality that the previous entries have been already. How about that? You know, at, at the end of the day, I don't know if what I just did is any quicker than a Poke Center and I highly doubt it. You know what? I need to I'm pause for a second because I need to know what I'm doing. I think this is a time six setup, but yeah. Oh, I made a. I got to reload a save state. Yeah, the the Doug Trio spot. I met I made a blunder, guys. I made a blunder. I'm supposed to fight an extra trainer. 
uh, in Giovanni's gym. I don't know where the save state's at. And I'm hoping it's not too bad, but we absolutely need to fight that trainer. I'm pretty sure we do. You know what? I'll give it one shot because I don't know. I, honestly, guys, I don't know where I'm going to level up at. It's going to make this fight a lot worse because I'm leveling up going into the Gyarados and setting up on the Gyarados while he has Dragon Rage feels awful because it's going to get you really low, but I think I set up just enough to outspeed the Alakazam. If I hit level 48 at the end, I'm fine, but if I don't, I have to, I have to just load the safe state and take it where it's at. I don't. I have to reload a safe state. It was absolutely crucial for me to hit level 48 right here. Right before Sabrina. I can deal with that. Oh no, it's the whole Silphco. Okay, I'm fine with that. Sorry guys. Especially VOD viewers. God. I feel bad for VOD viewers. I gotta do it. Like, there's absolutely nothing I can do about that because we have everything planned in a certain, very particular, specific way. And if I did, I didn't battle that one trainer, it means that I'm a whole level behind what I'm planning on being. And if I don't hit the right level and the right experience for the champion fight, I'll level up during the fight and I won't, it, it just derails everything. You get what I'm saying. It makes everything worse. Also makes that fight worse. Even though we were able to get through it, you still seen that it was really close, but it's fine. We just got to do this, Sabrina and Giovanni, and we'll be right back to where we were. So don't. Don't fret too hard about it. Oh, I know why I had um, 20 items in my bag before because I had a third Carbos I hadn't used yet. For some reason. Yeah, this is a no saber right here. This is just like a hit your blizzard, you win. A little bit worrisome. I'm going to have to double edge the Zam and it's going to take me down to like 40. Well, 53. I haven't missed a blizzard on the Venusaur yet. Maybe that's some foreshadowing for the future. But now it does give me a chance to go get uh, strength at the right time. Maybe there's a positive lining to it. Because I hate I hate having to go back. And I know people probably hate it too. Uh, the Cubon Sprite's gray for some reason. I changed it to brown. Is that worth mentioning? Probably not. Yes, it is. I'm just gonna make a safe state. I'm not gonna heal. We've already done this shit. I don't wanna. I don't. I don't really wanna bother. I hate that I have to redo it at all. But I don't think it's gonna be an issue. I'd almost like to not heal for Sabrina. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Because I can just do this. Dig out. And I can just go straight there at full health. I got double edges if I need them. I got a couple of blizzards. I got serves. One. I'll make another save state. I gotta make some save states just in case. Maybe I'll save some. I don't know if I will. I think setting up on the... Um, on this is better. Double edges are gonna cut it close. Can I one shot the vent? Yes, I, I crit, double crit. And I think the two withdrawals put that into a hundred percent range. Okay, so what I can do now. Is I can just dig out. I can go straight to fuchsia now. And while I'm in my inventory, I can just go boom, elixir, boom, super potion. And now I'm not even gonna heal for Giovanni. Oh, it's all coming together. Oh, it's all coming together, guys. Maybe, oh, I got 15 serves. I use the elixir, okay. 
<clears throat> I got you. I think that's the last thing I really got to remember. I was just so hung up on uh, remembering uh, to get surf because I already forgot it that I forgot the trainer. Yeah, there's an extra trainer. That's why I reset in the first place. I completely forgot the extra trainer. I think I can afford to use another elixir if I need to. This guy, double Nido trainer with the Nido King with this subpar Nido King sprite. And we can just go straight here. Um, what this, what that trainer does is makes it to where I'll level up after the Pidgeot. I can fully set up on the Rhyhorn. And then um, I can one-shot everything else in the fight. And I'll just level up after the um, Venusaur. So it sets everything up perfectly. And then I can use all my rare candies after that. And it means I will not level... If I use all my rare candies then... It means going into the champion fight, um, I won't level up at the end. Or there's a specific order. I think it means that I'll level up after Alakazam, which means I can set up and use my extra damage for Alakazam without getting hit. It just helps a lot. That's the TLDR. That's all you need to know. So here's what happens now. As opposed to last time I blizzard, I level up. And then now I'm safe to the end of the fight. I can just set up on this little weak ride on. And when I'm at plus six, I messed up and wasted a turn. When I'm at plus six, I can one shot the Gyarados with the blizzard. Makes it a little better, makes it a little quicker, I think. Double edge him, just get him out of there. I think I could probably go for blizzard at that point too, but that's fine. So after this fight, you want to use all your rare candies. And I think I got four left because I used one early and I skipped, I'm going to skip one. So one at level 50, learn spot cannon. Okay. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. I was making a save state because I get the feeling I'm about to run over this ledge. I didn't. Cool. I don't like to use the back here because it's like the corners are so tight and you're just going to serve. It's really not that long, but getting up here in the right spot and using your back does feel pretty good. I'm making a safe state because I refuse to mess this part up. And now I'm just going to focus. Hey, the learn set's on the side. I didn't make it up. Like every once in a while on the cross-gen runs, I'll get people commenting on the learn sets. And it's like, bro, that's just their learn set for the, you know, whatever gen they come from. Like, I don't make it up. I wish there was a, maybe you split this boulder puzzle up into two of them because I wish there was another time to, to go into your menu really good. It doesn't feel good. Using that last repel, there's no really good time for it. So I'll just use it now. I thought that was going to be the time that I run into the Parasect trainer. So far, so good. I do expect there to be some little random horseradish reset. Uh, I'm actually going to pick up this full restore and see if I can save even more time. What about that? How about that? You know, I'm talking myself out of it as we speak. Like, if I need another full restore and I don't have one, I'm going to feel really sad. So just for the sake of this, I'm going to make a hard save and a save state. I can always come back to the very beginning if I need to. I mean, I literally show the learn set on the screen. Like, it's one one click away for somebody to double check. That's the magic of the internet. I wish I'd get another growl here. Yeah. Give me another growl. So we're really boosted. 
unfortunately, growl, two growls neuters our attack, so double edge is not useful. But you can see with eight boost, uh, we're doing a lot of damage with our special attacks. I need to give Labyrinth. Let me see what Blizzard does. Not much. Why am I hurting myself so much? I'm paralyzed, so uh, me skipping the full restorers already doesn't seem like a good idea. I only got three, so I really, I really need to uh, plan them out. I'm not even going to save. If I reset, I'll just go back to the first because I need to buy another full restore probably. I will save. I got a safe state if I need it. Uh, YOLO strats. I'm going to set up once and I'm just going to go for it. Low HP. Those nightshades really hurt. Uh, not my favorite position to be in. I think I lost. Yeah, I lost this one. Okay. That fight does not feel good, but there's not really anything you can do because you don't have anything for Agatha, but it went really good until the end. I missed a bunch of blizzards, if you didn't notice. God, like, is it really 50-50 chance to, to confuse, or am I just the unluckiest person in the world? Completely derailed me right there. Bent me over and took me to town. Please, God. Not Agatha. I f I f it feels like setting up once feels better than setting up four times, because you just don't have that luxury. One setup does put out uh, Gengar in a two shot range. I just feel like I need to go to Blizzard here, Blizzard Town. Because if I crit like that, it's perfect. I am going to go. Okay, I think. I mean, barring a complete meltdown, we should have this. Saving is just kind of like a luxury here. Double Blizzard will get it done. Unless unless it gets really lucky and just survives. Cool. Uh, I've missed multiple Blizzards at this point. I'm thinking this might be a reset here too. Unless I get lucky, don't hit myself and hit the Blizzard. No. Man, like, sometimes, like, and this is why you need to take a break from Pokemon every once in a while. It, sometimes it's so, so, so frustrating. Like, I'm not going to hit the two-shot range, and I've already missed a Blizzard, and I accidentally wasted a Blizzard there, which means to have any chance on this at all, I need to use regular old Surf, regular old Resistance, or... I'm resetting and I'm not counting it and there's not anything anybody could say to change my mind. I should have just went blizzard on it. Lear's good. I cannot, why now out of all the fights in the game can I not hit blizzard? I'm fine with it. I can miss one more. I can miss two now. This is, okay, this is how it's supposed to go. But double reset, multiple resets in the Elite Four didn't feel good. Oh my god, if he didn't miss that slam and I missed two out of my three blizzards and lost, I would have lost it. I would have absolutely lost my shit. That's like the kind of bum fuckery you see from the computer all the time. It's like, 
Oh, what do you mean? There's a lose condition? If you miss these two moves in a row, like, that's all it takes, then I guess I'll do it. Yeah, I mean, I personally felt like I met I messed up, you know what I mean? So like when I feel like I messed up, I feel like I can reset before the battle over is over. I didn't mean to do the extra setup. It's not needed. Uh, this is a two shot. Dragon Rage would be a little worrisome there. Oh, Dragon Rage right on cue. Thanks, buddy. Uh, if I miss the blizzard at the end, I'm going to let out a quiet scream. Sub 220, baby. We got that sub 220. This is a monster run. Uh, outside of a couple of hiccups here and there. It's a monster. Like, there's no doubt about it. I had hopes for this. I was getting 240 times on times 4 speed. Uh, with a couple of practices. And then I kind of dialed back some stuff. I cut out some stuff and... You know, as you can see, certain fights don't feel great, but I think this is a nice middle ground between the first and the second run where it's much quicker. We shaved off six minutes. We added some more resets, but it's not as bad as the second run. Oh, there's a lot of times the computer decides to win. Hey, no problem. This is a little bit longer. I mean, we've been live for... How long have we been live? God damn, four and a half hours? Is that what it says? No, three hours, 46 minutes. Yeah, this is a pretty good run. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I guess I'll throw out some stuff like to the people that are here. Let's end the poll here. That poll's been up here for 10 hours. Um, for the people here. Thanks, Meeves. I appreciate that. Yeah, sub 220. I mean, only a few Pokemon in Gen 1 have done it so far. I think so far we have had Alakazam's the gold standard. Articuno, Mewtwo were really good. Then right behind them, you have Gengar and Haunter, which are very similar. They're, they're, they're very similar to Cloyster in the fact that they do have some clear problems, but they're really, really good. But yeah, Cloyster is one of the best runs I've ever done. Uh, number six. I was predicted number six. I thought it had that potential, but... It's right up there. This thing, I think... Okay, we'll talk about resets. These are... You know, some of you guys sticking around, y'all are like... I'm sure you watch the videos and stuff. We're going to start getting into a new style of tier list. Uh, show of hands. Uh, how many of you remember the tier cards that I showed a couple of weeks ago? Anybody remember those? Do I need to pull them up again? Because I'll do it. You remember the tier cards? Yeah. So I'll just, I'll, I'll just bring out one. Cause I need to talk about something. I need to get like an opinion on it. Not something that's going to happen soon, but like something that I think I'm working on. It's like the balance of real life time and resets or in game time and resets. Yeah. I, I put up a few. I mean, yeah, there's a right one. Uh, let me just find one. I almost want to pull out my Parasect Race redo card just to spot how long it's taken for that video to come out. Uh, Golem, that's the last one we did. That's probably a pretty good one to show, right? We'll bring out two of them. We'll bring out two just to show. Just so you guys can get an idea, get a, get a feeling of the stuff. Because I want to talk about how I feel about certain things. I need to find one that fits the bill here. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll bring out these two. So the background indicates what game they were played in. Uh, obviously, it's very simple, very simplistic. That's the way I want it to. Um, so what I want to ask about is resets. And I don't like resets are good when you're comparing stuff that are close, but I was thinking about adding like an adjusted time penalty to resets. And I guess I can, I've been going over it a little bit. Tell me what you think about it. Um, maybe the first three resets are free, no penalty. There's RNG in every single run. 
and there's nothing you can do about having one, two, three resets sometimes. So no penalty for about three resets. You can maybe get rewarded if you have zero, look perfect, but up to three, no, no penalty. Maybe something like resets four through 10, they count 10 seconds a piece. So an adjusted time of 10 seconds per reset, four to 10. And then maybe resets 11 through 20, 20 second penalty. So it would promote me to play more consistent and make more consistent routes and make these kind of choices, but it would also give a clear penalty to Pokemon. So for example, you're looking at Golem, uh, first three resets free, then two resets after that would be 20 seconds total for those two resets. So it'd be about a 238 time. Really not that bad of a, a penalty. You're only really, really punished if you have like racking them up. So it would force you to be a little more consistent. And I was wanting to know if it just sounds like a completely dumb idiot idea or not. I guess. I would like to have some penalty for the resets. I think it's impossible to have a letter grade when I haven't done all the Pokemon. The reason why we're going to this system is because I had a letter grade system. And as I did more and more runs, I was like, wait a second. I don't know if the A tier is actually the A tier or... This run I previously thought was in the C tier is actually more likely an F tier run. So until you have all the data, you really can't just, all you're doing is just judging off your last run. Like, oh, I've done 10 runs. I'm going to rank them that way. But I think it's easier to rank them in order of their time and stuff. There is no tier list right now. There's a card list going in order. So obviously in this situation, Snorlax is worse than Golem. It's not even close. Well, they are counted, especially if it's a close run. But I was making them count more. Let me see if I can find two runs that are just so close. I had a couple of runs. I think I got a good example here. Hang on, let me look. Okay, that's Raichu. We did the Raichu run. Immaculate, perfectly consistent, did really well, one reset. And then on stream, maybe that's not it. Maybe Vulpix isn't a good example. Maybe Pikachu. Let me, I'll pull up Pikachu just to make the point. Uh, where's Pikachu at? <laughs> we pull up Pikachu because Pikachu had a faster time, but Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't even want to do Pikachu's adjusted time. It would be... It would probably add a good 15 minutes to its total time because it had 46 resets, you know? So in this situation, even if we wasn't counting resets, Raichu would probably be ranked higher. But like, Raichu's a little bit slower run, but it was a little bit slower in such a way that it was more consistent. Now, no matter what you try for Pikachu, I dare you, I dare anybody to go try the Pikachu yellow run. There's absolutely, you could get up to level 90 and still have a hard time on the champion fight. It's awful. It's a god-awful battle. If you're not using double team, best of luck to you, brother. Yeah, that's my channel icon. <laughs> that's my channel profile picture now. I liked it so much. Yeah, Pikachu got beat up. If you have over 30 resets, you're getting a little beat up sprite put on your uh, card. Unfortunately, the only other Pokemon that comes close to that is Rhydon. It had 18 resets on Lorelei alone, but it was perfect outside of that. So... I do think that's, I just wanted to run it by real quick, but I mean, the run's over and like the views have tanked. So there's not really much more to say outside of that, but we did a really long stream today. I do appreciate everybody showing up. I uh, had a few donations. I do appreciate that as well. Um, so I think it's about time for me to get out of here. And like always, there's, there's only a few of you left in here. It's fine. I'm going to play a few ads. If you want to stay and watch a few ads, that's fine with me. It'll just give me a, some... Give me a couple of peanuts. Maybe maybe Papa YouTube can buy me some bubble gum with that money. But it's fine. Yeah, Rhydon was perfect outside of Lorelai. That's why I didn't feel the... No, I gotta work. I gotta work work, Cody. I can't play Zelda until the night. So now I'm like two hours behind work work. Then I can play Zelda. But alas, I'm gonna play a couple of ads. Appreciate you guys. I don't know if I'll stream next week. If I do, I'll announce it on Wednesday in the community tab like I always do. This Sunday is muck. I have not had a good time with the obstacle video. It's got really low views. So if you want to show up with some support on muck, I'd appreciate that. 
maybe it won't do bad but do appreciate you showing up me thanks for the donation appreciate you channel member great uh i'll see you guys later